welcome, Internet, to our Imperious Rex Halloween Spectacular. <laughs> Spooktacular. Uh, Spooktacular. <laughs> I am the formidable and indomitable <laughs> droid to the God. max extreme. I'm just going to be regular Dinosaur Neil. And I'll be ghost, just regular Ghost Hunter Dave as well. This why, is pretty much regular. <laughs> you <laughs> promised me when I came here I could have any moniker I wanted. I thought you guys would join along. No. No. It's oh, all, it was just it's a me you. thing. <laughs> well, I guess that's good, Adam. Thank you. Yeah, I want you to feel special. How could I not feel special with my own Troy Thuck on this wheel? <laughs> oh my god, it's... it's it's, it's, on it's already picked it. <laughs> we haven't even spun the wheel yet. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, so man. uh if you're tuning in at this regular time, you may be wondering why aren't we talking Sandman? Well, I'll tell you why, because it's spooky season, motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa! Came in hot, Dave. Sorry. Feeling hot, Troy. Wow. <laughs> Turn on it's the very AC. hot in here. I did. I cranked it down a little. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we are just going to take this moment to take a, a small pause on our dream stream, mm -hmm. which has been going wonderfully, by the way. Yeah. We're having a great time with, with uh, Neil Gaiman's Sandman. That's right. But, you know, the spooky season is calling us in, so we are going to do a Halloween-themed, horror movie-centric Q&A spooktacular, mm -hmm. as we said. <laughs> it's going to be a veritable spook-a-blast. <laughs> In the words of Sam Raimi. <laughs> We've got a question. Oh my god. How are you? We're doing we're doing well. <laughs> a little, a little hot. <laughs> a little hot. Let's keep those questions coming. But not quite yet. We have some stuff we gotta cover first. Here's some general housekeeping. I have some notes here which I will uh, get rid of at some point, but I want to make sure we hit a few things right up top. Uh, as always, we have PK on the switcher over here. Mm -hmm. Look at him with that halo of wow. light behind him. Uh, Paul, what do you got to, to nibble on tonight? Thanks for asking, Dave. <laughs> Ghost Hunter Dave. Ghost Hunter Dave. You're welcome. I got these nachos. <laughs> <laughs> you got one of the loudest foods you could possibly eat. Got a pocket full let me, of nachos. Let me take a dip. Let's see how this Let's goes. Let's see how this goes. Everyone, stay with us. Oh my. That's ravenous. <laughs> Look at him mouth. <laughs> Are we going to get a strike for that? Was that <laughs> I, I think did so. Did that break any YouTube guidelines? Pretty explicit. NSFW. Yep. <laughs> Stay tuned. There may be more. Oh. As I said beforehand, this is being held together by tape. Yes. So if anything goes awry, let me know. Yep. Mikey P already in the chat. Dave's leg in this pic making me feel. Mm. Look at that. It's not saying what he's feeling. We know. Feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> feeling good. Um... So, as we already mentioned, we've resurrected the Imperius Rex Spinny Wheel, mm -hmm. the prop that we love to spin, yet uh, hate to follow up on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we picked it to, like, get shows to do. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we followed through on one. <laughs> no. We've already had... So, the problem with that was, we already have a full docket of things we have right. planned on, like, the whiteboard, the holy grail of the scheduling, right? Yeah, yeah, it's behind and then the couch. You're just, <laughs> and then you're just trying to wedge more books in there like it's fair to me <laughs> to read that stuff. Troy, it's not fair to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Most of all, Neil, holding the show together, the glue of Imperius Rex right now. That's what we've always called him. Yep. Uh, glue. glue. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Glue Potter. Um... So light up the chat. Let us know some questions that you might have during the show. We're going to keep it kind of spooky-centric, but don't let that hold you back. Any burning questions, let us know. I'll start off. How's the sound? Does it sound okay? Do we need to yell at Paul? How's the condenser? Compressor. Compressor. <laughs> it's compressing accordingly. The condenser, uh, not important. The compressor, however, uh, good. Looks like we're doing good. We already got some sweet uh, spam in the chat, so that's pretty sweet. All right. Uh, what can we reward them with? Woo. And some nachos. Uh, um, everyone, please click on that and tell me where you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more thing here. One more of several things. Uh, as you may have heard, we've been running a fundraiser mm -hmm. all October. Uh, we're not going to bore you with details, but Paul's going to show up a uh, show a picture to bore you with visuals, actually. <laughs> and as you can see, we are right on the cusp of this goal. We just picked an arbitrary amount, one thousand dollars, and look at this—we are almost there. We are eight hundred and forty-five 
dollars. So I want to take this opportunity oh, wow. to toss out a challenge. This is something that we teased on Instagram and some of the Twitters yeah. that if we hit a thousand, our Halloween episode will uh, feature us dressed as the notable, what are they called? Sanderson sisters. Sanderson <laughs> sisters. <laughs> there you have it. From Hocus Pocus. This is something that Troy begrudgingly agreed to. <laughs> <laughs> so let's make that happen. Let's make some dreams come true. Look at that. It's a spitting image. I tell you. Yeah. And not only that, if that wasn't incentive enough, Paul, come back to me. Get right up close here. Oh, yuck. <laughs> right up here. Right. Paul, thank you. Oh. We will also be giving out prizes because, as we know, Halloween, spooky season, is the season of giving. So we will be rewarding uh, our generous donators. Is that what you call them? Sure. Backers? Contributors. 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 If anybody donates during this live stream, we will reward them right here. And not just with a verbal thank you, but we have a variety of prizes here. Physical things. Physical things. We have Imperious Rex merch, bottle openers. We have Dave and Neil's tree service oh. t-shirts that wow. we have uh, a lot of extra large and double extra large <laughs> left. We have one Hero of the Beach tank top and a variety of comic books, both physical and digital that I am ready to gift out. Wow. So if anybody donates during this, let us know. Put it on the chat. Yeah. We will check, we will call you out, and we will get you a little something. Wow. To get you in the holiday season of giving. Wow. Season of giving, that's what we've always said. That's right. <laughs> um, so yeah, check out the GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. We're gonna periodically check throughout the show. Uh, and whoever is responsible, for taking us over that $1,000 threshold, I'm going to do you one better. What? They get to select a book for us to do on the show. And if that spinny wheel is any indication, we might do it. <laughs> no, we actually will. We'll do yeah. that one. Whoever it is, whoever's the lucky person that gets us over that mark. I'll watch it like a hawk and hopefully it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You don't have to read anything that month. <laughs> we can just air grievances. <laughs> uh, so it's been a lot of fun so far. Guys, should we get something to drink before we get right on into it? We got some horse. I've got spooky drinks. I've got some spooky drinks. Uh, Paul, I have this one. I selected it specifically for you. This is a Founders Scotch style ale. And it's called Dirty Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hand that over to you. Is this a twist off? I don't know. <laughs> you nope. mean that? You he heard <laughs> Wow. Check that out. We're going to see. Live in action. We're going to see if it works. That's the one. As you spray all of the cameras, yeah. the equipment, and the cords. Yeah. Get in there. Oh my god. Look at that thing. Look at how that operates. Oh. God, that's not safe for work. Ho! Oh, look at that. That was great. Amazing. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Clink. Uh, what else do I got here, Troy? I have a nice Oktoberfest for you. A Marzen style okay. lager. All right. All right. Look at that wonderful Ray Bradbury esque <laughs> October Country <laughs> design. I love it. Thank I love you. it too. And Neil. Uh oh. Um, what do I got here? What one do I want to drink? I have a Surf Zombie. For you. That sounds delightful. There you go. I hope you enjoy it. Sounds sweet. Hang ten zombie. Made with Iowa hops. <laughs> yep. Yep. I don't want any of these. I'm gonna grab one of these over here. Uh, one more. We sampled this last Neil night, and this is a Marzen Reunion Brewery. Quite good. Got some skeletons dancing around oh, the fire. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Looks amazing. Tastes yep. great. Dancing skeletons. Yep. Skeletons. Uh. So, what do we think, guys? Should we kick it off? Should we get into this? Yeah! What's the chat saying? Are they sick it. of us? No, not I yet. Am. Mikey P. Troy, get to my first question, please. Right. Very, uh, very <laughs> unlike Mikey P. He must be under the gun or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. He must have to go somewhere. Maybe he's under his head, gun to his dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does this cry for help? Does he need host hostage rescue? <laughs> uh, blink twice. <laughs> <That's the case. laughs> Um, his first question, going back in the chat here, uh, not about Dave's leg. 
All right. It was what was All the right, first? All right, we'll allow it. <laughs> what was the first movies that scared you? That is an excellent question. I yes. already have an answer for you. Okay. The <laughs> answer, it's uh, two movies in specifically, neither of which are horror movies. Oh man. First I one. I know one of these. Is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh yeah, <clears throat> and <laughs> it's when Christopher Lloyd starts bugging out, and he's like, "Did he sound something like this?" <laughs> and he just starts bugging out and freaking out, and yep. he's got like a saw blade arm that keeps getting closer. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was terrifying to me as a child. I think mm -hmm. it was terrifying to Paul there. He just cranked down the audio. <laughs> <laughs> it probably hit some of the upper echelons of our sound profiles there. Yes. Yeah. That was that was one that really stuck out to me and still kind of creeps me out to this day. <laughs> right. You carried it with you into adulthood? <laughs> Very much so. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, terrifying human being. Can't wait until he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the second thing I was terrified of, and, uh, this just, uh was from the wizard of oz mm. but it was all the munchkins apparently <laughs> <laughs> i was terrified of them uh it was probably that lollipop gang that just oh, yeah. frightened the shit out of me oh yeah uh but that I mean, was... they're a gang <laughs> yeah you see how menacing <laughs> they were the gang mentality <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> terrifying Slurping those suckers into yeah. shivs <laughs> oh my god yeah um those are great yeah the dip the the dip it's, yeah dip. Uh, yeah, those were the first movies that I can remember scaring me. And I was even watching this around the same time we were watching, like, Terminator 2 and RoboCop. But those were, like, just awesome. So, <laughs> yeah, those are the things that scared me that I can remember. Mm. I remember the first actual movie that, like, legit scared me that sticks in my memory mm -hmm. is me and uh, my podcast buddy, JT... We're doing a Friday the 13th marathon. Oh my. And Did you watch all the Friday the 13th? No, we didn't. Okay. <laughs> 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 Too because scary. We could, because it was the Midwest in autumn, so of course his mother keeps the soda out on the porch where it stays cold. Mm. And we were too scared to go outside to get drinks because we thought like a knife would come up to the deck boards. A and Jason would get you. A Jason would get us. <laughs> yeah. And so that's the first movie that I remember physically terrifying me was that Ooh, yeah. yeah i don't have like any like childhood memories of something odd like wizard of oz scaring me though mm. but i most likely had them no uh <laughs> no peewee's big adventure but there well, is that was one in here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> crash line in the chat says peewee herman large marge mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> in charge Mm -hmm. <laughs> mine uh it's a little different mine was the exorcist <laughs> oh, uh, something I, actually designed to scare yeah, you yeah. i grew up on watching scary movies me and my dad would go to the old video store movie time it was called we got a bag of popcorn with every rental and i would just like peruse the horror vhs aisle and all these like just gory bloody box arts still stick in my mind to this day. I wish I could relive that. Mm. Maybe I'll turn my basement, not this part of the basement, but maybe a different part of the basement into an old VHS store. But I remember my dad always told me, like, you, you know, we'll pick out whatever movie. We watch Predator a lot. But he's like, but not The Exorcist. When you're old enough, we'll watch The Exorcist. Oh, dang. And I was Gave like, prestige. Oh, oh, my. Good Lord. I'm like, I need to see this Exorcist oh, thing. But he wouldn't let, me, wouldn't let me taste it yet. Okay. okay. And then one night on a sleepover with a, a friend, we were like, you know what? Let's read. Fuck, Dad. Let's read The Exorcist. Let's, <laughs> let's read The Exorcist. Oh, my God. So we got it. Put it in that night. And uh, about halfway through, had to turn it off and finish it in the morning. It's wow. probably about the only movie that I can think of that I was, like, just terrified <laughs> by it. And I think it was when uh, young Reagan was undergoing, like, some medical tests and her throat was swelling up like a bullfrog uh, and all that. And it was just, like, it was too much for me right then. And for for weeks probably months after that i just laid in bed terrified at night like the <laughs> oh, devil God. is going to get me oh my. oh i have one that i maybe even supersedes uh a friday the 13th would be arachnophobia oh, oh yeah because john goodman terrifying I, we, we grew up on a farmhouse where there's like just spiders everywhere and for whatever reason i thought like at night i would like open a curtain and like a big giant spider would be like Rah! 
<laughs> ready to get me or something. I think that one, it would be before uh, That's Friday That's a spooky one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One other quick one. I thought uh, Ghostbusters 2, Vigo the Carpathian. Paul, can you put it on me here? <laughs> Paul, this is about me now. Vigo. Vigo the Carpathian. The painting is terrible. Sat upon a throne of blood. Oof. Terrifying. Just a terrifying mountain of a man. Just gross looking in general. Didn't like him. Um, but yeah, that's uh, those are some of my earliest... Insane person in real life, too. Very horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible man. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that... Great question. Some Ooh. early formative scares there. Good job. Uh, I got, we got some answers from the chat here, too. Yeah. We got Pee Wee Herman, Large Marge, like we said before. Um, <laughs> Pud Lord, for some reason I was really scared of absurd nonsensical stuff, so my brother would chase me moving his arms like a squid, and he confused and terrified him. <laughs> that does sound terrifying, actually. Uh, Ryan Carroll chimes in with Blair Witch 2. The Book so of Shadows. The so-called bad one, but it gave him nightmares for years. Whoa. Hey, turn the camera to me, Paul. I got something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really enjoy Blair Witch, too. Oh, well. Go. And we just watched uh, the original Blair we Witch did. Project just a week ago. Yeah. Holds up. It does. Well. Up. Very right. spooky. I haven't yeah. seen it since it came out. Too spooky for me. Yeah. Uh, the sequel has a great soundtrack. Ooh. Let's see. Some Okie dude said The Thing scares mm. the crap out of me. Yep. Blair Witch is another one in there from Ryan Carroll. Um, okay. All right. There you go. This is our, our Q&A. Yeah. Not theirs. Okay. <laughs> just, just throwing them out there. Just kidding. Just, throw just kidding. Keep, keep, keep it the up. The Blair Witch thing is like the scariest thing is you don't know what it is. That's right. It's terrifying. Yeah. And we were remarking that if this was made today by a major studio, which it was when they made that pseudo sequel like a couple years ago. Yeah. They would ruin it by giving you a lot of big shocks and a lot of big payoffs mm -hmm. and like, here's a witch and <laughs> here's this big old scare. When the original, it doesn't have any of that. It's just an underlying feeling of dread throughout the entire thing that really never has a payoff other than that final scene and then it just ends. Yeah. And that just makes it so much creepier. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it just feels so much more real. And the whole, like, the whole ambiance around it, the movie, like, that... They made it seem like it was a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. The marketing <laughs> like, was top notch yeah, on that. It was thing. amazing. Mm -hmm. I even thought like the interviews at the beginning when they're talking to the townsfolk and that one crazy woman's talking about seeing this like skeletal skeletally thin woman washing clothes at the river and she's floating and she opens her dress and she's covered in like thick horse hair. <laughs> when I saw that movie in the theater, that like just got under my skin. I was like, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Hairy bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Paul, what's the scariest? Yeah, what's, what's your, your first scary movie? Your dad? <laughs> Watching a family, yeah. a family Christmas in 1993. Actually, that's not far from the truth. Oh, uh, sorry. The, the first movie that I watched that was actually scary was Signs. Signs. Okay. When, they, when the alien walked out of the cornfield oh, with the found footage. That is spooky. That terrified me. <laughs> yeah. That is a scary moment in a very okay movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up a question that we had submitted prior to this. Okay. Uh, this is from Sam Anderson. Yeah. He says, this isn't even a question. Uh, he says, classic Sam, right? We got to talk about horror flick progression. Tim Burton to Sam Raimi to Clive Barker. That was the formative progression that happened between ages five to eight years old, for me at least. That's Sam talking, not myself. Yeah. What was the lads, that's us, lead into horror? How quickly did it progress? At what age did Troy discover he was a coward? <laughs> <laughs> So, to summarize, or paraphrase, like, once you first tasted those munchkins, yeah. what was the progression after that? Where did, uh, where did your horror uh, enthusiasm it's take you? It's not far apart from Sam's, really, because, like, other things like that I would think of, like, I didn't really watch a ton of horror movies. It was, no, thing, it was things like Edward Scissorhands, which I still found terrifying in its own right vincent price yeah vincent price <laughs> and just like suburbia I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know capitalism <laughs> yeah hedges i don't know <laughs> <laughs> topiary it's terrifying but yeah that 
honestly, that's not far off because I only, like, apart from that, apart from when I met you for the first time, mm -hmm. and we just, like, binged a lot of oh. insane shit, like, yeah. high tension and all that stuff. Yeah, when we were in college and yeah. we became good friends, like, we started a... Uh, a double feature group yeah. where we just invited a bunch of friends up and we just watched all these like crazy like notable yeah. uh, video nasties <laughs> just call them over the pond yeah and we would just try to pair up good ones like high tension and inside cannibal holocaust <sighs> and ravenous God. that was our thanksgiving one it was <laughs> train spotting and requiem for a dream yeah hot fuzz Shaun of the dead stuff like that old boy and audition yep so at that age I had like watched so much horror, I guess, growing up that it. When I was in college, I was like, "What's the next big? What's what's the next thing that's gonna get me off?" <laughs> like I went, I was looking for like the really like really shady shit. Yeah. And the stuff that like, oh, you don't want to watch this. This, this is gonna fuck you up. That's yeah. like what I want. And facesofdeath.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like seeking out all of the most extreme stuff, which a lot of it came from overseas. A lot of Asian horror and a lot of French horror. Yeah. Uh, so we did a lot of that. Yeah. Can and I haven't really dipped my toe back into that too no. much. Like, every once in a while on a whim, but, like, now I have such limited free time that I don't want to spend, like, two hours that I have away from the kids <laughs> watching terrified. something that makes me feel awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of my whole thing on horror is, like, some of it is good and well done, but other times you're just like, God, this makes you feel just awful yeah. and terrible. But. And, and Cannibal Holocaust was the one that really just destroyed me. Like, that I could were, never watch that again. Everyone left with their head down. Yeah, that was a terrible <laughs> night to show 20 people or however many people showed up <laughs> that movie. Because it, oh. it was awful. Like, that's one I can't go... I would never go back to and watch again. Because it had real animal cruelty and yeah. death in it. Which is like, that's just not good in any, <laughs> any, <laughs> yeah. any avenue. Real quick for the chat, what is, uh, what's the most disturbing movie you've ever seen? Yeah. Uh, left a scar. Emotional scar. Yeah. Serbian film was Serbian quite film. disgusting. Yeah. That one I felt tried so hard. It, it was did. almost laughable. I. You're like, look at you. Yeah. You're what really. It, yeah. <laughs> it's like the Garth Enos. It, it, it <laughs> of, really of was. Of those movies. It, he kills a person by putting his penis into their eye socket. Yeah. It's one of those. It's insane. And you, that old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Paul, during one of our late night double features, we watched Hostel and there you are. Yeah. Hostel and Hostel Two. And do you remember that night? <laughs> remember you uh you you got up, you went to the bathroom, we heard a loud crash, we walked in on you, you looked upset as you were uh picking yourself up from the floor, and uh you said you took a little nap. <laughs> yep. Passed out. Passed out. Was it the movie? Uh, it probably was because I was I just got up too fast. You dehydrated. Guess. Dehydrated, too too drunk. Not enough you, vitamin D. You just saw D. a dog eat a man's penis. Yeah. <laughs> probably, yeah. Flashbacks to the Family Christmas, nineteen ninety three. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. All right. All right. Uh, what do we do? We have any got, got murder one. party? Come on, <laughs> Mikey P. <laughs> <laughs> Disturbing. Shameless plug. Oh man, should we should we spin the wheel? We've got the wheel here. Spin that we wheel. do have a wheel. Let's let's spin it. We we threatened to spin it. Let's lift this up. Neil, can you hoist that on you? Who wants to spin? I'll not, spin it. Not Paul. All right. See what we got here. My God, the anticipation. All of to these avoid are the follow through. Bad things. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Man, might have to edit some of this out. Yeah. Oh boy. What's it's it gonna live. be? It's live. What's it gonna be? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god! Prizes and treats. Prizes and treats right off the bat. One of the better ones you can get out of this. <laughs> That's right. Um. So, first person to respond right now that says, first person to say, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> wow. I didn't think this through. I didn't really expect it to land on that. Uh. First. Per First person to say their favorite comic book on chat will win a prize. Let's watch. Watching. Oh. We got... Nobody has a favorite. No one has a favorite. Maybe we have to circle back. 
New <laughs> Warriors, OJ Stapleton. Oh my god, OJ. <laughs> and he answered with the most appropriate OJ answer he could have thought. Oh my god, OJ just won a prize. And OJ, do you have a Dave and Neil's tree service shirt? Because if not, you just got one. Oh. <laughs> if you do, you've got another one. Yeah. Just joking, we'll get you something else. You know how to get in touch with us. All right. Wow, what a roller coaster that was. <laughs> Can we, should we spin it one more time? Ah, Would it be a faux pas to, to spin it one more time? I suppose not. All right, let's do it. Dave? I'm going to spin this one. And you know what? Since we don't have all day, I'm just going to stop it. <laughs> what is it? We'll Ghost it pepper. Ah! <laughs> 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 Damn it. <laughs> well, um, I'll... Uh... Here we go. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And OJ does not have a tree service shirt. This is great. He just got a tree service shirt. All right. Look at this. Hold that up. So Troy has some actual ghost peppers here. <laughs> Nobody expected this to escalate this quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, show is going to be rough from here on out. My God. No, nope, you just leave that in there. I'm not going to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Dave. Paul's going to take mine. Paul, you doing a ghost pepper challenge? No. What the All right. Fuck? Troy, you're going to have to eat two. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, three for Paul. How much are you going to eat? I'm just taking a small bite off the end. How All much right. of a small bite? Like this much? <sighs> I'm going to remind right. our viewers that we do have a fundraiser still going. And yes. if you would like to donate... Uh, it will be sent to needy children and not to the medical bills of Troy and Neil's assholes after this. It's not so much the assholes as a throw. I'm getting these baby wipes ready to go to wipe these little thingies off. Mm. Oh, that's actually a good point. All right. Let's see. Let's see how this goes, guys. All right. Down. All right. Also, I've got uh, packets of sugar. That actually helps put out the flame faster than dairy. Okay. It's weird. You actually open up the sugar pack. You doesn't eat the packet. Just throwing that out there, too. I love that you know this. Yeah. It's a little trick I picked up. How many ghost peppers is this for you? Uh... <laughs> this is the second one I've eaten. All right. <laughs> Don't you just swallow? Fuck. Don't eat the whole thing. No, we're just taking a bite off the top. All right. All right. Just a little off the top. Just a Here tip. we go. are going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you do need to leave, you are able to. I would rather you not throw up. <laughs> uh, nope, not going to throw up. This I'm is here. It's I'm hot ones go. now. It's hot ones. Uh, hit me with some questions. I, I'm Come sweating on, just watching you right now. My God, Woo. that was intense. I feel like I witnessed a murder. <laughs> Everyone okay? <laughs> okay. Just, yeah. Robbie right Carroll, like you guys ripped from a bone. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes. Did anyone donate? <laughs> Did anyone donate for what these men... how to donate? Yeah, we should, Paul. Thank you for that. Maybe a little incentive would help. Uh, let's, let's play this video. I made a little walkthrough because maybe people don't know how GoFundMe works. Check this out. Comics for Classrooms. So simple, <clears throat> even Troy can do it. We watch this. You click that Donate Now. You just go over, put in whatever amount, hopefully a bit more than $5. You're not a cheap ass, are you, buddy? You hit Continue. <laughs> and don't worry about tip and GoFundMe. You don't need to do that. Then you put in your email address, whatever the credit card or whatever is you need in there, and then you donate. Simple as that. Boy, oh boy, a child could do it. Wow. Neil just taking a hit off that sugar <laughs> packet right now. Huh. Doesn't the sugar help? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, right. boy! Look at that. This is the kind of content that you just don't get anywhere else. I mean, you might. I, I don't want to just pigeonhole ourselves here. This isn't a regular thing. You guys all right? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be all right. I'm good. All right. Your, your eyes are still watering. Yep. Yeah. 
All right. I'm going to I'm going to move us into another yeah, let's question go. here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. This is uh Malin Shammer asked, "I'm curious what obscure horror movies y'all like by your own definitions. Like the movie Black Sheep, for example." I don't think too many people have talked about this zombie wear sheep movie. And uh, he goes on to say, just recently gave the channel a chance after seeing it in recommendations for a while. Sorry for not watching it sooner. No worries. This is kind of laid back content I'd like to make. Been working backwards through your videos for a week or two now. Just wrapped bat year. Woo! Oh, how about it? I need some water. All right. Do you want a beer? <laughs> no, that will help. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Malin, Shammer. Uh, <laughs> obscure horror movies, Troy. Do you have anything you can add obscure to Obscure horror... The most obscure horror movies I would have seen would have been, like, the stuff that you would have shown me, like, some Japanese stuff. Yeah. Have you watched any of those? <clears throat> uh, would be, like, Icky the Killer be one? Mm hmm I've seen that. What'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> it was different. I mean, that one's not so bizarre, I guess. Yeah. Um... God, now I know how Hot Ones is so hot. <laughs> uh, um, also, um, I would even say like Midsummer and uh, yeah, uh, the other one that was Hereditary. Hereditary are some bizarre ones. Yeah, the yep. ones that like sit with you more or less. Yeah, Midsummer and Hereditary, big favorites. Yeah, not uh, not favorites mind. of mine at all. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care for them. Uh, we still on the strange horror ones? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got anything that comes to mind? Uh, Give you a second here. <laughs> um, one that I really enjoy, Midnight Meat Train. It's a Clive Barker adaptation starring Vinnie Jones and Bradley Cooper. Right before he skyrocketed to stardom. And it's a super ultra gory, uh, just mean-spirited flick about a butcher in the New York subway system. And he's killing people. And delivering their carcasses to an underground, like, primordial society that is eating them. And it is oh, as man. bizarre as it sounds, but it is right up that Clive Barker alley, if you're a fan of him. Um, as we've said, big fan of, like, foreign horror movies. Mm -hmm. Inside, which is a great, gruesome story of a pregnant woman that is terrorized on Christmas Eve by an intruder. And the whole thing is just made all the more awful by the fact that she's pregnant and there's a lot more at stake, but it is super gruesome and very uncomfortable to watch. Yep. Uh, In the chat, we got one. Uh, Brain Scan from John Carlos. He says the best obscure horror movie. Oh, never seen. How about um, Night of the Creeps? Never seen that. I love Night of the Creeps. Yeah. Oh, God. I got good news and I got bad news. <laughs> The good news is your dates are here. The bad news is they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god. What's his name? Tom. Uh I wanted to say Sizemore. That's not right. No. He's a terrifying man in his own right. <laughs> god, why can't I think of his name right now? Blank. Total blank. Oh man. Tom and Atkins. Tom Atkins, thank you for that. <clears throat> I couldn't leave that hanging. <clears throat> Uh, Let the Right One In, another great one, Swedish vampire movie that got a pretty good remake in America by Matt Reeves, who yeah. was directing The Batman. The Batman? Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, I, I like those kind of weird, obscure ones. One of my favorites, um, and I'm, I'm going to get to it later, it's one of my top favorites that we're going to hit, so I'm not going to say it yet, but it is a, uh, a very weird Italian zombie movie that I don't think anybody see. Every, nobody's watched it. But it is amazing. It's up there with, like, Evil Dead 2. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Speaking of uh, remakes, yeah, there's been plenty of horror remakes, and that was they were kind of going in on the chat there for a little bit about their favorite remakes, so, like, maybe something you like more than the original. Oh, yeah. Is there anything you... I got plenty. Okay. One oh. that came to mind in the... Just to, sorry to interrupt, but, like, one that came to mind in the chat <clears throat> that I totally forgot about was the Texas Chainsaw remake that they did. Yeah. Yeah. That one was awesome. And I don't never... got shit on, too. Like, people mm -hmm. kind of universally hate... <laughs> You're grabbing another ghost pepper. <laughs> Let me just finish this off. People, like, universally hate it. And I think that is an amazing, brutal horror movie. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not amazing, but it has some great stuff in it. And I feel like over time, maybe people have gotten a little kinder to it. Yeah. Because that is, uh, that is 
angry. That is an angry movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes it is. Uh, yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. I saw it in the theater when it came out. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Dawn uh, of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. I think that's in my well, my, my list that I have supplied yep. for top five, but uh, Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, so fun. Yeah. Uh, the Thing. The Thing, one of the best horror movies ever made. Mm -hmm. Remake. The Fly. Uh, oh, yeah. The Blob. All the thes. All of the thes. <laughs> Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 78 version. Oh, that is one, yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Really, really good. Uh, Leonard Nimoy and his weird gloves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and Jeff Goldblum and his weird nosebleed. <laughs> um, Hills Have Eyes. Fantastic. Mm. Very brutal. Very, movie. very brutal. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. Around the time that that came out, though, it was like... Kind of the same time as like that Texas Chainsaw one. Yeah, they all had that same kind of angry vibe to them. Yeah, yep. The uh, Evil Dead remake is pretty good. Oh yeah, all worth. yes, I think that's a fantastic one. Mm -hmm. The uh, Friday the Thirteenth remake, hot Sucks. dog shit. Yes, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. <clears throat> that is <clears throat> the shittiest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> Let me take that back immediately. But it is bad. I remember I saw because it came out the same time Watchmen did, and we saw Watchmen in the theater. Three hour movie went by like that. Yeah. I saw a Friday the Thirteenth like a week later, and it felt like the longest fucking movie I've ever <laughs> sat through. And it's like an hour and a half. And then I watched uh, Watchmen again shortly after in the theater, and it once again just flew by. Um. The Suspiria remake is also great. Mm. Very different from the original, but excellent. Never seen any of the Suspirias. I would say, well, I guess the new Halloween isn't a remake. It's technically a sequel. Yeah, the Rob Zombie Halloween is a remake, and that's dog shit. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Carroll, I like the Rob Zombie Halloweens. Sorry, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. O.J. Stapleton, Leprechaun, Back to the Hood. Hot shit. That, it, that might be the worst movie I've ever seen. I didn't even finish it. It's for the best. Do you need to? No. And I didn't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I have a couple more here. Uh, the Night of the Living Dead remake, directed by Tom Savini. Quite good. Okay. Mm, yeah. Um, House of Wax. Oh, divisive. <laughs> <laughs> We actually did a commentary on that. We for, did. Uh, it was for, for our Patreon, Patreon, right? Yeah, yep. <clears throat> so check that out. That was actually really fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like doing that quite a bit. That was good. And uh, one of my all-time favorite horror movies, uh, The Ring. Mm. The Ring is a remake. I'm not a fan of The Ring. Fuck you, it's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Spin right. the wheel, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I had a quick question that was asked me today, just earlier today. Yep. Um, yep. Is... And it kind of, and the ring made me, or this question made me think of the ring. Has CG made any horror movie better? Um, hmm. good question. And my answer, my the first thing that came to my mind is, I think the face in the ring that you see in the closet is CG. Oh. And it's terrifying, but I think it's just little things. Yeah, I think it's like cleanup that it <clears throat> might help. Yeah. Like, you still got the practical effect there, but maybe you just, like, remove some wires and mm -hmm. just kind of, like, polish up a couple things or dirty up a couple things. But I can't think of Troy one where it's like... you're like... in deep thought yeah. or the ghost pepper is completely taken over. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of both. It's not fun. It's not fun. I'm feeling it in my gut right, right now. All right. Probably an ulcer also. Yeah. <laughs> You're due for one, one of those. those fish beers. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Clean you right up. Swim right down right downstream. This is a sweet water 420 strain. Solid. I don't know what the fuck that's going to do to you. <laughs> Blaze and buck me right up. Yep. All right. I'm going to go for a rogue dead guy ale with a fun little skeleton can. <laughs> uh, they're doing a uh, contest right now where yeah. you can paint your own can, which we submitted to. <laughs> You uh, painted the I Like Turtles kid. <laughs> yep. And it is in the running. It's in the running. It's getting rave reviews. People love the I Love Turtle Kids Rogue Beer Can. <laughs> oh, man. Can we can we liven this up a little bit, guys? Please. I feel like our viewership is dropping. We need to just pump this it's up. It's actually only going up. up. I know. I already <laughs> had that prepared. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul, I've heard that you had, like, something cooked up for us. Do you have any context that you can give before you just unleash hell? So, no. I, I dug into the archives. Oh, man. You went back through the 
through the tapes. Through the old data tapes. Yeah. You had to wind by hand. Yeah. And I found some gold. Oh my. This is... Let me show you guys a clip that I found that's actually before I knew all of you. Oh my. Um, <clears throat> there's three of them, but oh, okay. I'll just show you one just to kind of, you know... To wet our whistle? Wet your whistle. Okay. I hope this might shut down the stream. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we shouldn't play it. It might not be safe. Uh, okay. I hope you're all vaccinated. <laughs> God bless. Let's, let's cue it up. Cue up that stream. See this? This is five gigatons. Only available in the future. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh man. That is a great pull. <laughs> <laughs> man, how, what, what age was that? That was a very young. That had to be like when we were 19 or 20 maybe? Yeah. God. It had to be. Beer hasn't even touched those lips yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. Yeah, it had to be because like we made oh the first few of them like when we were in high school, yep. right? Yep. I yep. would just show up to you or Ryan's apartment and we would just film the whole day. Yeah. And this is when I came back from college. Yep. And yes. I moved back here when I was like twenty one. <laughs> Another sugar packet. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to be you're nineteen like, or twenty. You're like Rorschach. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing you sugar bean juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are there more? Would this work best as a series? Yeah, but let's like you know oh, well, sprinkle, we, it sprinkle it in. We got a lot of we got a lot of good footage that we, we haven't got, got to yet. Um, uh, should I play just a random? Just select some random? Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we just right. let's let's do it. Pick it randomly. Paul's looking at me. He's his Isn't fingers up cheese? his his fingers up his butthole right and now. He went start close. Uh. <laughs> he he okay. just shut down the stream. All right, let's do it. Let's play this one. This is a, a ghost hunting adventure from way back. Why don't we head out, um, just pop a couple more in him just in case, um, and then we'll be on the road. You want to see something? So, <laughs> to this day, I quote, you want to see something? <laughs> Just because of that clip alone, I think it's like the funniest thing I've ever seen for some reason. Oh my god, that is from our Ghost Hunter Dave adventures. And that was Ghost uh, Private Investigator Ryan Fleehardy, I believe, that joined yep. me on that adventure. Mm -hmm. Man, deep pulls. Uh, deep pulls. It looks so young. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so full of life. Alright, uh, let's see if we got another another question here. This is from Pudlord. Friend of the show. Yeah. Really the spirit of Imperius Rex, mm -hmm. if I may be so bold. Uh, he says, I'm a monster guy, so what monster do you think works great no matter the story? The ideal monster. What monster? Wow. Monster. What's a good monster? There's the Baba Yaga. <laughs> oh my god, the Baba Yaga. <laughs> Chicken leg house. That is great. Uh, I'd be hard pressed to think of something that brings me more joy than when the Baba Yaga graces <laughs> the page. That's true. God, uh, that's a hard question because a lot of them do different things. Like, the Babadook is terrifying. The thing from, uh... The thing? The thing from The <laughs> Thing? Yeah, that's... Pr well, one that infects other humans and makes them do stuff is probably... Do you do you think he's looking for something more like a Dracula? <laughs> Maybe. A, Dracu a Frankenstein? A suck of the blood? <laughs> <laughs> a wolfman? A mummy, even. I a always mummy. thought the Black Lagoon, Lagoon creature looked the scariest. He was very Goofy. scary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what movie of we're do going... Doing? Going? <laughs> I'm doing over here. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, if we're doing the classic Universal stuff... Yeah. The one that I like the least, I think, is The Mummy. How dare you? Which one do you like the least? The Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the easiest answer, right? But here's the thing. He's I barely love... Mummy. Oh, yeah, he's barely Mummy. He's... That's all I want to see is Mummy. He's mostly unmummied. Yeah, mostly unmummied. So I need unwrapped. more Mummy. Do yeah. you talk about best Mummy? Brendan Fraser Mummy? Bam. <laughs> Winning. 
got it. <laughs> Wait, but he's not a mummy. I don't no. care. I just said those movies are awesome. But there's a do? big sand mouth in it. I'll, uh, yep. I'll you give got you a this. sand mouth clip, Paul? Yeah, sand mouth. <laughs> Paul, play us a sand mouth clip. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sand, sorry. Paul, this is free reign to just play a clip. Oh, can I play a clip? Yeah, play a clip. I'm going to play a random clip. You just pick one. They're all random to you. You don't know what they are. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play a good one. All right. Ready? Sand mouth. Anytime, pretty boy. And they asked him, so did you find the girl? And he says, no, the trail went cold outside the house. Got bit by a dog, too. <laughs> I went, what? Got bit, got bit by a dog, too. Well, who asked you? You're adamantium, you fool. It just it struck me that he had this inner, like, he's like a little kid, sort of, in many ways. I go where I want to go. Infrared beams. I can smell them. Ozone. But I love that. I can smell them. <coughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Cal. Amazing. Oh, God. Oh, oh that's a sand mouth. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna say this right now. The first mummy, enjoyable. All the other ones, complete garbage. fucking garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're bringing up the faculty in chat. The faculty's oh, getting talked about. That's a fun one. That is good. It's and, a Robert Rodriguez yeah, joint. That one is good. And do you, you know what the better Elijah Wood horror movie is? Um, Maniac? Maniac. Yeah. That one's terrifying. That's a good one. And it's That's all like remake. Yep. first person. It's yep. pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. creepy in Sk Sin City, too. Oh, my <laughs> Kevin. God. Kevin. It's like jumping around with the little pointy fingernails. Yeah. yeah. You know what? It's funny you should say that. I have. <laughs> Hold on. My you should say that while you flash the entire universe. I have two pairs of underwear on, gentlemen. My tongue One hurts. One more. One more. Stay tuned. We got a super chat in right now from John hey. Carlos. Wow! Oh, John, so gonna, thank you. We're going to jump right in before you do this here, okay. Dave. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, guys, uh, what horror comic do you guys think would make a good horror movie? Oh. We talked about it earlier in the week. I think Witches is, wor like, perfectly already written as a movie. Yeah. I think that would be really awesome. Um, Witches would be great. That's a Scott Snyder book um, with Jock on art. That one would make a pretty great movie. Uh, well, it's already written like a movie, whether it be the best one or not. So witches. Witches. I'm going to say <laughs> right. witches. You got anything? You got anything? Mm, no, I'm nothing better than witches. Yeah, witches is good. Um, I mean, I don't want to just say what we've already talked about. Sync would make a good, like, Sync would make, like, a good, like, like uh, yeah. Anthology. Like anthology series, yep. Could even be an anthology movie. Um, Golly. Good horror movie movie. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep talking. Um, uh, comic crack isn't witches getting adapted right now? It's don't know. supposed to be, but it's been adapted right now for quite a while. I don't know if it ever like happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to see Annihilation. No, it's wait, already not already Annihilation. Uh, no, 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 not uh, Nameless. Nameless, Grant Morrison's Nameless. Oh, yeah, Oh, sure. wow. That weird-ass psycho trip. Shit. That would be bonkers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to think of a couple more for you, John, since you were kind enough to donate. If you want to donate to something else, guess what? We talked about wow. Elijah Wood in Sin City being yeah. super creepy. Yeah. Look at this. I have an early printing of Sin City that I'm just, I'm going to get rid of. If someone, if someone donates uh, at least $20, could be more, but let's put it at 20 to the GoFundMe, I will send them this. Early one, features Elijah Wood Kevin. We, <laughs> we will even, if you want, we will even ruin it by uh, signing it and drawing a little picture on the inside cover, <laughs> as we have done in the past. I would say... So if someone does, if someone donates right now and let us know, they will get this, my, uh, my copy of Sin City. Wow. Uh, one of the first comics I ever bought. Wow, nice. Right here. Just giving that away. Wow. Right here. It's a telethon. <laughs> Currently $911 for the GoFundMe. Hey. Oh, my. Yep. People have donated. Yep. God, let they us know. Maybe they did let us know. I, I'm trusting you to keep up on this. I haven't seen. All right. 
That is great. We are approaching that threshold. So, uh, next person, if you donate right now, let me know, and you got that Sin City. Should we show them, Dave, what, uh, what they're helping? Yeah. Who are they contributing to? I think we should, Paul. So, we have a little clip here. This is, this is very early footage of, uh, Troy Potter and myself when we first met in the halls of the graphic design program. We did this little video. We had all these little fun videos at this place. Oh, God. And now a friend of ours that we went to school with uh, actually teaches here. So I went in, I chatted with them, and once we get all of this uh, fundraising raised, we're going to go in, we're going to donate a big pile of comics that we love, and we're going to film a little episode on it, just uh, sharing the love, sharing the love of comics. That's right. Look at this dumb shit we did there. We want to inspire people to do dumb shit like this. Look at look at your moves, Troy. That, those are my moves. That's me and uh, JT right there. Look at that. Look at that. Also, my future wife is in this. Yep. This is where you met your future wife. That's right. And this is the out. That's me there in a dumb hat. This is the outside of the building itself, and. Uh, my God, look at how nimble you were back then. I know. Do Can it. Do that Is that right on now? the wheel? Put yeah. it on the wheel. <laughs> Can it be Troy be Thumbs? <laughs> yeah. It could be. It so could there be. it is. Let's 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 do it. Let's hit that 1,000. Yeah. Anything extra, just, my God, that's just, I don't know, what would you uh, call Pud it? Lord, extra? Pudlord's talking about Blade. I got to say, Blade's great. We should oh. probably talk about Blade for the rest of the show. Absolutely. <laughs> so Luckily, it's... I have three pages prepared on this very <laughs> subject. <laughs> I do have updated things from, it would have been with the start of the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. We don't have to go over them now, but we're going to be sending these people some stuff for donating. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. So I, even if you haven't said it in the in the chat, I know who you are, and we'll, we'll be sending you stuff. We're getting there. Yeah. Yep. Yes. We're going to reach out. We're making things happen. Woo! That's right. We're changing lives here. And thank you for everyone who has donated already. That's uh, right. I don't want to leave that out because we had, I mean, we were almost there yeah. prior to this. We didn't forget about you. That's right. We will this be just turned into a telethon. It did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will be acknowledging and rewarding everybody uh, who has contributed yeah. because you're doing the Lord's work here. And up next, we have porcelain dolls for sale that will be selling. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> These precious figurines. Oh man. So I got I got another one right here. OJ, uh, one of the winners for the show here. Yes. Mm -hmm. OJ says we need a malignant discussion. Am I the only one that's watched Malignant? Yeah, he's yep. been wanting me to watch it God a lot. Damn it! <laughs> I just haven't done it. I only know what the internet has said about Malignant that it either sucks or is great. It's both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's one of those that does both. Paul, have you seen Malignant? No, you haven't. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Paul's <laughs> closing down Tetris. No. no. <laughs> okay. All right. OJ, uh, you got a shirt. What more do you want? <laughs> uh, maybe maybe pitch in a couple bucks and we'll do a malignant commentary. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. OJ, I know you're loaded. <laughs> Take us over the Have threshold. You seen his pool? You'll, get, <laughs> you'll get a malignant commentary. Uh, and one more here. I'm only going to call it out because I love the name. Dingle McCrinkleberry <laughs> said, oh my God. Are you excited for the new Candyman movie? Um, I've also yet to see it. I guess I'll answer that one too. <laughs> yes, I was, and I did see it, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Thought it was a very, very good follow-up slash sequel to the original, which I think is an all-time, all-timer, all-time horror slasher really? classic. Nice. You ever that seen Candyman? I've never seen a Candyman. It was never on my radar. It, that's the thing. It's so good, but it doesn't have like a big old franchise. It's too classy yeah. for that. I did see the trailer, though, and it does have me uh, intrigued to yeah. see the new one, even though I think I'd probably be like, man, what's the deal with the Candyman? Well, you got to watch the first one. Yeah, find that out. No, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. The no, first... you got to watch it, Troy. <laughs> the first Candyman. We get good. 10 bucks right now, Troy's going to watch Candyman. Uh, Troy, it's got bees in it. <laughs> ah! Oh, I boy. knew we'd be scared of bees. <laughs> Troy, tell us a story about bees. Uh, all right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How much stuff are you giving away in here? <laughs> oh boy, business manager coming oh, in. Great. I'm sorry. Golly. I tried to match you. This is the closest I had. <laughs> All right. All right. What about? Do I have something over there that? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I have so many things set up that I was gonna pull out and I've forgotten. 
<laughs> None of them being a, a body part. <laughs> uh, Troy, tell us your B story real quick, and then we'll acknowledge the uh, business manager in the room. Okay. Uh, Neil invited me over to his apartment one time. <laughs> and so uh, he forgot to tell me that, oh, yeah, my front door's unlocked, but you can climb up on my little deck, and then you can go in through uh, my back uh, my back deck. I'm like, okay, sweet. Your little deck to the back deck? So I climbed up his deck, uh, and I put my hand on a rung. Unbeknownst to me, it was immediately on a hornet's nest. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so I let go of the deck and fell off of it and then ran to my car to immediately go get some uh, antis antiseptic spray yeah. to cure my wounds, right. yeah. to climb only then back into the deck to get oh. into his house to be met with his roommate I've never met wielding a practice katana to beat me to death because I would thought he thought I was breaking into their house. I, I should have said a lot of things to a lot of people. And I, I was also supposed to donate plasma that day. I called them to say, hey, I got stung by a bunch of bees. Can I still donate? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> That's so it. So there you have it. End of story. That was good. What was the spookiest portion of that event was it the bees or was it the katana equally they were equally as scary okay. you know the the wings and stinging is always a thing that can chase you but so is this man that was angry and scared <laughs> wonderful yeah. thank you for unbeknownst that. to me at that time we become great friends oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you officiate his wedding i did all right <laughs> did he have the, the katana he did not. Okay, uh, but so you could have had it hidden in a suit jacket. I don't know. <laughs> it's true. Very concealable. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, Paul, any run-ins with bees? Beads? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I think we should spin the wheel, guys. Now that we have the business, oh now that we got the business manager all the way down here, uh, I think if we this should lands let on her... ghost pepper again, I'm out. <laughs> all right. All right. Can I spin it? Yeah. Please do. I'm definitely going to stop it because... Did it take a little while? It takes forever. It's not fun to watch. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Back to return. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm prepared for that. So, uh, if, if in the event that we did get a bat year, an emergency bat year, uh -huh. I was hoping that maybe you two could uh, regale the audience with a, a brief reenactment from Batman 89. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you need time to prep? Uh, probably not. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't. Okay. Um, let me set the stage. It's it's 1989. <laughs> Batmania has swept the nation. There's a bunch of young theater goers just ready to see their childhood dreams take flight on the big screen. Oh, my God. Jack Napier is uh, confronting a uh, heavyset police lieutenant. <laughs> And <laughs> go. Oh, God. <laughs> Why wasn't I told about this? Who's in charge? Eckhart, sir. Oh, my God. Go on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the, scene, the scene I was about to jump into is it's Troy's in the shadows, and I'm like, oh, thank God you're alive. <laughs> You left me to die in that vat of chemicals. <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember it. But I know the right? Joker ends up shooting him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> okay. Uh, you set me up over a woman. A, a woman! <laughs> Jack, maybe we can cut a deal. <laughs> Been dead before. I can't remember what he says, but then he's... That was wonderful, guys. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Don't you ever do that to me again. <laughs> uh, we'll apologize for that. Let's spin it one more time. One more time. One more time. That year again, Troy and me will do another scene. Wait. Is it Ghost Pepper? Whoa! 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 <laughs> so, all right. If anything can carry us on, let's get a little, one more, one more word from Cal Dodd. I'm trying to get this done before the sun comes out because if the sun's out, it gets like 100 degrees in here. Like that. Like that. I'm sorry I forgot your buddies' names. Your best friends. Um, well, yeah, well. 
I got, well, first of all, this jacket is very cool. This is uh, the our cast jacket, and we each got one. It's just, it's a great jacket. Love it. Now, oh, see, now the sun's coming out. This to get ridiculous. Plus, I can't see. <laughs> so I'm sitting in a greenhouse for some reason. <laughs> Amazing. That Cal was a Don. Father's Day gift. It was. I love Cal Dodd. <laughs> oh, man. He has graced our show so many times. <laughs> Cal Dodd is making bank on us. <clears throat> yeah. uh, one, of our, um, one of our fellow Patreon members actually also got a video for us, Q. That's right. And what was f a funny story behind that is, is that uh, apparently Cal was having computer problems, and Q was like, I can help you, and then helped Cal <laughs> fix his computer <laughs> problem. <laughs> to fix Good job, Q. So thank you, Q. We're Amazing. getting this great Cal Dodd content. <laughs> Absolutely. Do we have anything in chat that we should address before moving on? Uh, see, Danger is just in there saying more B things that happened to me. Mm. So, Would just you like to talk about your wedding? Yeah, I, that's what I was that, thinking. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, also got stung by a bunch of bees before my wedding, took a bunch of Benadryl, oh. and then ended up tripping balls at my, uh, my rehearsal dinner. That's yeah. another bee story that happened to me. Nice. Got stung in the hand. And the head. Ooh. <laughs> well, you don't often get stung in the head. You looked great, though. Thanks, man. You thinned down. You 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 were living your best life. I was, li besides the bees. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So we talked a little bit about movies that traumatized you as a child. Yeah. What about the scariest horror movie moment? And maybe this goes hand in hand. But can you think of? Could be anything. Could be childhood. Could be adulthood. <laughs> What is, like, a scary moment in a horror movie that stuck with you? The last one I can think of is in two of them from the movie Insidious. Ooh. Like, Insidious really struck with me for some reason about just being terrifying. They have one of the most inventive jump scares in that one where you can see someone pacing outside a window. Oh, yeah. And then they pace outside of camera and then pace back inside of camera in the Hold house. In the house. Yeah. And that's like terrifying as shit. Um, there's a second one when they're in like the dream world or whatever that is. Spirit world. The spirit world. <laughs> where, you, where you get this. Um, there's a part where there's like a family that had all committed suicide or something like that. And there's a part where they all stand up and then smile instantly. Mm -hmm. For some reason, that is the most terrifying thing in the world to me. I don't yeah. know if it's people being Smiling. happy or <laughs> just that immediate Because I instant. want it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That is terrifying to me. Jumping on to Insidious there, there's one moment in that that always stuck with me. And it's not a jump scare. It's one of those that you don't even realize if you're not paying attention. Oh, God. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Everyone knows what I'm talking about except Troy. I don't know what you're talking nope. about. <laughs> so the, the mother is just walking through the house, like, talking on the phone. And she, the camera's following her through the house. She walks, like, through her laundry room. And there's just a kid facing the wall. And they don't address it. The camera doesn't linger on it. There's no, like, violin screech. It's just one of these things where it's like, holy shit, like, was that... Let me rewind that. Was that something there? And then she just moves on, and it's never addressed. The kid does pop up later, but it's just like, oh my god, there's just a, a ghost boy there. <laughs> I think those are, like, some of the creepiest things that they don't, like, draw a whole lot of attention to. Uh, the Hill House... Netflix series did a lot of that where they just like pepper in these ghosts in the background and they don't make like a big thing out of it. It's just something like maybe you see it, maybe you don't. If you do, it's like, ooh. Yeah. Um, something along the same lines of that, like The Strangers is something that gets me, even though it's it's not as good of a movie, but like just do the fact that it's like a home invasion, like real life thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. And like whoever is in that movie is on the phone and you just see them in behind them. Like, yeah. just standing there, like, waiting to fucking kill him or whatever, <laughs> that, and that, they don't even know you're there. Yeah, well, that has one of the most, like, terrifying lines in it, too. It's like, well, why did you pick us? And the answer is, because you were home. <laughs> Fuck that shit! <laughs> you're always home. Yeah, yeah. I'm always home. What? Well, there's I'm that. Home. And then, I, there's one thing that terrified, and I saw that, and I guess it's a phobia that I didn't even know I had or, or whatever, mm. but there's this one moment in that 1408 movie. Oh, yeah. Where that is that Paul, give it to me real quick right now. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. 1408, one of my absolute favorite Stephen King short stories. The movie's okay. The short story, 
amazing. Yeah, the movie's Continue. okay, but there is one point where like John Cusack goes outside his window, and then it pans back, and it's just an endless brick wall. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but that fucking freaks me the fuck out, <laughs> <laughs> and it made me uncomfortable sitting there. I don't know if it was the imagery mixed with like a certain sound that like triggered something. Yeah, but I felt. Not great. Just at that <laughs> second, and yeah. I, that's always stuck with me. That's the only thing I remember from that movie. Is yeah. that? Oh God! Yeah. Right. Just an endless brick yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah. Maybe endless voids scare me. <laughs> that's why I didn't watch DC Fandom. It's the <laughs> <God. God. laughs> Well, we can all look forward to a very satisfying end. <laughs> the cold embrace of the grave. <laughs> Business manager, uh, do you have anything on this? Mm. I mean, are we talking recent or childhood? I know you guys. Could be anything. Well, the one that the first one that sticks out is from Turtles, I believe, two. <laughs> oh, Super Shredder. Yeah, when he pops his hand out of the the dump. Oh. In the garbage. <laughs> 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 that 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 traumatized me as a child. Yeah. Is, yep, just that hand coming out of the garbage. I know like, he's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> I know you weren't a big fan of Gozu when that person was giving birth to another adult person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you watched it. We may have just described it to you, and I you saw your eyes us. roll back and didn't <laughs> talk to me the rest of the night. <laughs> uh, that and, um, I guess, uh, in that vein, Inside, when... Oh, yeah. Because... We, <laughs> we watched that when you were pregnant. Yeah. Ready that, to oh, pop it. God. <laughs> the bad time Whoops. in your part. So, we have two kids, and I have a history of uh, subjecting you to very terrible movies to watch mm -hmm. while you're pregnant. One of them was inside, as I mentioned earlier, a pregnant woman terrorized. Uh, it's the on second Christmas one, Eve. Human Centipede 2. No. <laughs> okay. Even better, it's Prometheus. We saw it in the theater oh, right God. when she was like uh, very right close to uh, to Burping. having the baby. <laughs> yeah. And there's a moment in that where she needs to get an emergency C-section uh, to get the squid alien out of her. That was our first kid. Which we did, in fact, get an emergency C-section on. <laughs> He's not a squid, though. Not a squid. Loves squids. He, he, does, he does love squids. Has a love of the aquatic, mm -hmm. as you will see shortly on our Gaio <laughs> episode coming up next week, where our son guest stars. Yeah. So my, my scariest horror movie moment, the thing that always uh, sticks out to me, the movie that affected me like no other. So I saw the movie The Ring. The remake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, I'm not above remakes. Like, hey, you fucking watch the original. Sometimes the remakes can be okay. <laughs> All right? Yeah. I took a bunch of friends and myself to see it on a birthday. One of my birthdays. Because nothing else was playing. And I was like, it's PG-13. It's probably going to suck. Let's, let's just go and see it. Because there's nothing else. Mm -hmm. We get in there. And I'm like, all right, let's see what this is. We're watching it. And right off the bat, like, the two girls chatting at the beginning. I'm like, okay. Like, the tension is building. It's mounting. I'm, it's a little creepy here. <laughs> like, all right. It moves on. I'm like, okay, this isn't bad. And then it gets to that moment where Naomi Watts is chatting with the mother of the deceased girl at the wake. And the mother says, like, oh, my, like, I saw her face or something. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe her face. And out of nowhere, it cuts to this shot, this jump scare of the girl dead in the closet with the most horrific expression on her face and she just like yeah. <laughs> tilts her head down and that came out of nowhere and i was never the same after that <laughs> God. for the rest of the movie i was like on the edge of my seat waiting for another <laughs> trick like that and it really didn't ever come but right off the bat that comes out of nowhere and you are forever changed and i was just like that was not what I was expecting out of this movie, and I could never let my guard down again. So that is a scene that, like, even as an adult, I have a hard time watching this because it wrecked me so much, like, yeah. when I first saw it. God. That's not bad. Woo. Okay, they're talking about Annihilation in the chat. Is so, it because I accidentally said Annihilation? It might have been, <laughs> but the scariest part in Annihilation to me is the bear that screams like a human. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, that's the most terrifying thing to me in that movie. Oh, uh, I think we need to spin the wheel. We need, we need to show some footage or something. We, we, we got to lighten the mood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to, Ghost yeah, too, many spooks. Had a, too many spooks. We got to ease the tension. Let's see what we got here. Ease the tension, baby. Ease the tension. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No beverages are still. Just a toy. Just a toy. More 
Wolverine wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> this might exhaust our Cal Dodd quotes. So, Paul, play whatever one we haven't played yet of Cal Dodd. Uh, true legend. Canadian legend. And he was a filthy mutant. Infrared beams, I can smell them. Tell Cyclops, I made him a convertible. Shh! Swiss. I'm locked. It's adamantium taste and time, boys. Within the growl, of course. Hurts. This one's for you, Morph. <laughs> what a trooper. I'm I love sorry. Cal. I'm sorry I made you do that, Cal. I appreciate it. Oh man. I think there is one more Cal Dodd quote. Can we just do wrap up wrap that up? Just so we just a clean break. Number four. Happy, happy Father's Day to his wife, Wolverine. Well, no, to his wife, period. That would be her. And then the next sentence starts with Wolverine. <laughs> Way to go, Cal. And to the amazing husband to his wife, Wolverine. <laughs> so there, happy. Hey, Father. I'm Christy and I work in product. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, I'm Christy and I. Okay, peace. And out. Thub. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Cal Dodd. <laughs> what a legend. Does kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yes. Yeah, very good. Uh, uh, well, we've gone a little bit over an hour. Do you want to hit our top five favorite horror movies? I think we should. Okay. I think we should. Uh, I, I sent a text out to you guys. I said, give me your top five horror movies so I can make up some slides for it. Uh -huh. Neil responded. <laughs> Hold on! I'm gonna pull up the chat because that was not a stipulation. Uh, so, <laughs> just anybody respond and then it's over? What's funny is there's three people in the chat. Dave says, what's your guys' favorite horror movies? And you're just like, that probably doesn't apply to me. <laughs> <laughs> or you're like, Neil covered it. <laughs> Those are mine too. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Which one is this one in Check here? Checking the receipts. <laughs> Checking the receipts. Follow the paper trail. Hey, oh. something to mull on today. Give me your top five favorite horror movies. Troy, I know this might be difficult. I didn't know that you were going to pull slides and shit. I thought you were just like, hey, make a list. We're going to do it for the show. Well, thanks for not doing anything. And then Neil, <laughs> Neil made a list, sent it in. I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I, I got a list right here, right now. I right. got a list. Paul, can we, can we cut to list? Troy's slide here? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your favorite. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, uh, Troy. What are your top five favorite all right. horror movies? My number five, Cabin in the Woods. Great one. Eat my, shit. My number four, the Evil Dead series. Because okay. Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness I like about the same. Okay. I don't care if you are going to argue that Evil Dead 2 is better. It is, care. but I'm not going to argue. <laughs> So I couldn't pick, but it's going to be those two. Okay. Evil Dead 1, not so much. Uh, Trick or Treat is my number Ooh, three. My oh, very good. We just saw that at a drive-in movie theater. Good Lord, ago. it was life-changing. It was awesome. Number two, Shaun of the Dead. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and number one, the original Halloween from John Carpenter. Oh, my. I feel like, I think that is the perfect Halloween movie to me. My, my, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, look yeah. That. Good answer. There you go. I'm happy that you Good thought answer. about horror movies long enough to make that list right now. <laughs> now I made it like an hour ago. All right. <laughs> oh man. Um. Can we? Can we do? Paul, yeah. are you able to to give us some treats or tricks? Whatever you have up your sleeve. Wow. I know you have quite a bit of material here, and I just want to see what you got for us. All right. I'm gonna sprinkle in some magic. All right. Don't get it on the computer. I always wear protection, and by that I mean a claw hammer. When you fuck in the future, you'll know later. What are these things? <laughs> Do you want to 
want to give any context to these? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I do or not. All right. Is there one more? There is, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Should we? It's the best one. Oh, well. Oh, you I bet can't. it has something to do with circuitry. Don't leave us hanging. In the future, we all get one of these badass babies. That's right. That's metal, baby. Circuitry. Don't you forget it. Context. Yeah. <laughs> so, a, we started early on in our filmmaking careers, right? And we started making movies called the Troy Potter series, which was like a spoof on like the Batman, you? the Batman <laughs> movies, like Troy Potter Begins, Troy yep. Potter Returns, all that type. And every time we s did another sequel, we upped the ante to a point where there's a future version of me. In the sh and we were like did me on green screen and it was like rud <laughs> rudimentary <laughs> green screen stuff. No way. <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't even tell. But are these on the channel, or where can you find those? I don't know. I'll upload them. They're on the internet here. somewhere. Yeah. They are dumb, <laughs> but I, I lo <laughs> we love them. Oh my god, we quote them. <laughs> Our children quote them <laughs> religiously. We did make one big feature of it. Yeah, it's the one we uh, involved Paul. I, I yeah. have a couple clips from it. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Pull the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the clip, Paul. I'll pull uh, a random clip from it. All right. Treat us here. This is a good one. Oh, good. All right. In case you were wondering, that was me, as oh. Jesus, beating someone to death with someone else's arm. <laughs> we don't even need the wig anymore, look at this. Yeah, we don't even need the yeah. wig anymore. Yeah. Mm. Great stuff. I'm going to watch all of those tonight, I think. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there was a, uh, a video where you were going to come in as future Troy with like a fully cybernetic arm, which we never ended up doing. I know. But we did like a little <laughs> promo there where you just yeah. painted your arm silver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I believe we there was some behind the scenes footage where we actually had you on the roof of a car and we were driving around a parking lot yeah. out of town so like we wouldn't get arrested <laughs> for that. <laughs> yes. But yeah, there yeah. was a whole thing. Whole yeah. Thing. It was a good time. Thank you for that, Paul. That was great. We got some in chat about their top favorite uh, horror mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. though. We got Ryan Carroll, Evil Dead 1. Okay. Not bad. Oh, that's a good one. Blair Witch 1 and 2. That's not bad. Yep. House of a Thousand Corses, Corpses and Devil's Rejects. Ooh. Great Rob Zombie classics. Yep. Annihilation. Great. Beyond the Black Rainbow. Oh my. Never seen it. That is, uh, that's an interesting pull. It's from the director of Mandy. Wow. Okay. I don't care for it a whole lot, <laughs> but I love the style and atmosphere of it. Here's my favorite thing about Beyond the Black Rainbow. It ends where the, the antagonist, spoilers for Beyond the Black Rainbow, the antagonist is chasing the uh, female lead, and he has, like, mental telekinetic powers, and he's, like, gonna get her. And they're running through the forest, and he literally slips on a rock and bashes his head on <laughs> another rock, and that's it. That is how it ends. <laughs> oh, my God. He just randomly takes a, takes a spill and knocks his head, that's, knocks his noggin. That's my biggest fear. Just slipping and wow, slipping. slipping and dying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> slipping and I gotta dying. get. I want to get to some other ones. Crash line. Let the uh, let the right one in. Nice, good one. Good, great winter horror movie. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go back up here. Sorry. He had a good one at the end that we're all we just watched. I know. Ooh. Uh, I bet I know what it is. Oh boy. We Does got it involve let the... a head at a sideshow. No. Okay. Before that. Before right. that. Okay. Uh, American Psycho. Oh, oh, I love it. Just classic. Yep. Patrick Bateman. The Thing. Great. Dawn of the Dead. 
doesn't specify which, but I think they're both good. Both acceptable. And then Ravenous. Oh my god. That Guy Pierce cannibal classic. Yes. I love Ravenous. Troy, have you ever seen Ravenous? No. You would love you it. You would love it. What? It is, no, you would absolutely love yeah. Ravenous. Does it, it have Batman a... 89 in it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It does. You have to wait till it's over, but it's in there. <laughs> as long as you play Batman 89 afterwards. <laughs> uh, some Oki dude. He's got. Uh, Sorry. No, you're right here. Oh, yeah. Right. No. Watch, oh, us, wait. watch us learn the internet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's oh, yeah. got the thing, yeah, the thing, The Shining, Alien, mm. Under the Skin, and Seven. Ooh. Seven. Ooh. Seven's great. Seven is Under a good one. Under the Skin is also very Under good. the Skin is a very deep pull. Yeah. I've got that. So, here's the thing. I made a list of, like, the most notable horror movies uh, over the last 50 years. And I'm, wow. I'm willing to share some of this with us later, but I don't want to drag down the show. I might save it to the end. Okay. But just some of my own personal favorites over the last 50 years. I've got okay. it broken up by decade. Okay. okay. You know what? I'm going to do a little right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go from the bottom up. Bottom up. So, 70s. The Exorcist. The Omen. House. House is great. Okay. Japanese horror movie. Yeah. Absolutely fucking bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Must watch. Yes, it is a live-action Scooby-Doo cartoon. Yeah, with a piano that eats children. <laughs> yep, The Wicker Man from the '70s, not the Nick Cage version, although that's equally entertaining. Jaws. The bees. The bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Dawn of the Dead, Halloween, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the '78 version, Suspiria, Halloween. I put that twice? Yeah. <laughs> All right. An alien. <laughs> An alien. That's a 70s. That's great. That's very good. Those are good. Those are good stuff. Those are good stuff. My my mindset when I watch these is like, I try to put myself in this mood because so much of this has been ruined by just pop culture. Yeah. Where you just think like, imagine sitting in the theater in a world without social media and no movies like this and you see Texas Chainsaw Massacre for the first time. Because you watch it today and you're like, eh. <laughs> but you gotta, you yeah, gotta okay. put yourself in that theater and yeah. just be like, can you imagine what this was like? <laughs> yeah. This came out in like 74. Right. I saw Alien in the theater a couple of years ago. Uh, they did like a re-release for the 40th anniversary and it was amazing. I just like tried to distance myself from it and then getting like the full on surround sound and it's like, terrifying. it is so good. Yeah. And I can't even imagine what it was like to completely fresh eyes. Uh, John Carlos asks if we've seen Arlington Road movie uh, that uh, Tim Robbins? effed him up. Yeah. Yeah. I have not, but I know what it is. Wow. Tim Robbins was in Jacob's Ladder, too, which terrified yeah. the oh, shit out of me, too. Good, it's on the oh. list. Oh, my <laughs> God. 90s. Yeah. Uh, OJ uh, saw Ravenous in the theater. Showing your age there, OJ. Wow. <laughs> Who was 18 back then? <laughs> I can't imagine a theater that showed Ravenous. No kidding. We couldn't even get it to show full screen like on your TV. I had the DVD and for some reason I put it in this very weird <laughs> picture, picture box. box. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, Paul, can you, can you take us on a ghost hunting adventure real quick? Do you... Uh... No. Just anyone? Any ghost hunting adventure... Is good. All right, let me uh, pull up something special. I got special. some for you. All right. I'll cue it up. Well, I mean, I provided you with like six ghost hunting clips. I, I got a good one. Oh, is it one of the ones I gave you? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Get the fuck off me! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I fucking hate the screw. Oh God! Yeah, we made it, huh? This is it. Spirit work. So what are we doing here? This is where we find the ghosts that you may be seeking. Yeah, I got good best this time. Ah, uh, yes, spirit world. Very good. You get the vest. Always. Complimentary vest every trip. It's real nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that, is, that is a line we quote All constantly. the time. <laughs> a lot to unpack there. Uh, I would say, uh, what, 90% of all the things we filmed were in that warehouse building? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
uh, open the kimono, as uh, we say among our, our yeah. friends here. That was filmed in a different building around here, and we got very, very, very <laughs> drunk before we filmed that. <laughs> I don't like to make an addendum. You yeah. got very, I got very, very, very drunk, drunk. Yeah. during the filming of this. Because we hadn't filmed a Ghost Hunter Dave adventure in quite some time, and yeah. I was like, I don't know if I can do it, guys. You gotta loosen up. <laughs> I don't know if I've got it in me. You got too loose. You guys, we actually got paid to do that. No way. That's, yeah. We had a GoFundMe. We got a, and we we had a got contributor. A yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, see, see, friends, you can make that same. <laughs> you can make that same thing happen. <laughs> so I uh, got very, very drunk Don't when we that. filmed that, and we went to this building, and uh, it was locked up, and no bathrooms were unlocked, and I had to empty my bladder. Something awful. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't say it. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> I don't think they're watching. Maybe if enough people donate to the cause, no, I can no, finish why, the story. Why? why? <laughs> no, no. No, Jazz already ruined it. Jasmine, you scumbag. So, say it. <laughs> so there were some plants in this building that I urinated on. <laughs> also, a, uh... And, no, I'm not done. And we also had several empty beer bottles that I had drank that I Refill. refilled and then had to uh, defill into a drinking fountain <laughs> because it was the only, only drain in the building. Yeah. And uh, oh. as we were filming this, and I will say, my... My bladder has never been fuller than at this moment because I filled a beer bottle and had some extra. I had to cut it short, dump it, and then continue on. And in the midst of that pouring, some person walked out of the building <laughs> who was just either working there or living there. <laughs> and I was dumping the beer bottle down the drinking fountain. Could have just been beer. I'm so proud. It was <laughs> uh, a monumental moment. One of those that, like, on my deathbed, I'll think back to that. This was also the one where I injured my foot something awful. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't shut up about it for months. Ever. Because He's I, like, I fucked up my foot. <laughs> like, it was a serious injury. That's what happens, Dave. You just fuck up a foot. You see how easy <laughs> no. it happens? Yeah. <laughs> let's play a clip from that adventure, Joey. Let's, let's. Show you this room. This room, like labyrinth. Oh, it's, it's warm. It's uh, it's a little hot in here. Ah no, it's feel good in here. Feel good, like country where I'm from. Feel uh, you know, same. You know, it kind of makes me want to dance. Ah yes, I love to dance. dance. Eh? We're gonna be dancing a bit. Hey, Paul, you know, you know where I'm going with this little spirit chant. You want to join me in on this, Justin? Of you know, you know the words. Dance. Never pass good Ready? disco break. Pretty good? Yes. All right, let's do a spirit dance. Oops. Whoa. Sorry about that, Paul. Ah! Out of here. Oh, we'll... Official number one sock of go. that. Go sort of day. Right. Yeah. You're a dancer, right? I need a dancer. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Questions. Have, we ever seen, <laughs> have we ever seen the fourth kind? Well, hold on. These aren't the questions I want right now. <laughs> also, we have another top five okay. uh, right. from Franco. Uh, number one, Legion. Mm. Okay. Number two. Wait, Legion slash Exorcist. Yes, Sorry. that's better. Uh, the Grudge, number two. Number three, Hereditary. Mm. Number four, Possession. Number oh! five. Oh! Go on. Number five. <laughs> a good one, Rosemary's Baby. That is a fantastic list. Classic one. Yes. Mm -hmm. At first, I was like, are these these like new age versions of these titles? But uh, from Rosemary's Baby on the number one spot, I think he means, or she, whatever, or they, uh, the original there. Yeah. So Possession, the Sam Neill 
80s classic that I made you watch that you hated. That's a good one. <laughs> that sounds like a theme. Yep. Uh, and Legion is Exorcist 3, which is top notch. Wow. 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 Nice. wow and wow, I have wow. seen the fourth kind. Didn't care much for it. Okay. But, I've never uh, seen it. I saw it. Paul, it's, thoughts? It's, it's creepy. It's got some creeps. It's creepy. Thanks. <laughs> it's uh, creepy. It it says in the beginning that the footage is real, but it is not. Yeah, that was my issue with it. Like yeah. the whole time they're trying to fool you, but they say like right off the bat also that like it's it's really not. It's like a reenactment. Yeah. So the whole thing is fake. Yeah. 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 Kind of on that. Do you guys have a favorite found footage horror movie? Mm. I think mine's the first uh, REC. I fuck you. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, say the second one. I. I the second one. Fuck also. you! I was gonna say that. <laughs> Rec two is great. Yeah. Rec one is great. Uh, Cannibal Holocaust, as Ew. we said, has some problems. Cloverfield, Cloverfield is a lot of fun. Blair, and Blair Witch. Witch is very great. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's all of them. <laughs> yeah. I think Blair Witch is my favorite because I haven't seen the other ones. Oh, all right. Shoot. I, well, I've seen Cloverfield, but that meh, whatever. Meh, meh, meh. All right. Yeah. All right. What are your guys' top fives? Oh, you haven't you want, done that yet. You want that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I went, and then you made fun of me for it, and then, right. uh, then right. you guys didn't go. That's how it goes. <laughs> we don't want to blow our load right off the bat. How long is this going? <laughs> he, he's edging. He's edging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm edging, trying not to piss my pants right now. <laughs> Do you need to go while Neil does his top five? Could I? You can. I'm going to. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um... Uh, Paul, let's uh, let's do Neil's yeah. top five here. Let's run through my top five. Right. Neil, now, do you remember what they are? No, I don't. Okay, actually. I remember. Paul, some of go them. ahead and click any one of those images that I gave you. So mine are um, like I don't keep a like a big track of like horror movies in general. So I kind of had to flip through like a lot of the most recommended ones. I'm like, oh, I've I've seen that one. I really liked it. So kind of going on that. Dawn of the Dead Zack Snyder's was mm. awesome. Yeah. Like, it's such a cool, like, new, like, take on it. Like, it's not the same as, like, your the original one was, but, like, just had a bunch of new energy to it that was fun. Yeah. Uh, I kind of... Had the running zombies. It had the running zombies, yeah. Right off of 28 Days Later, but yeah. they were pretty close, so I maybe almost... they might have uh, happened organically. Yeah, I almost put that one in my list as well, because that one is such a... That one's a good inclusion. Dawn uh, of the Dead's a lot of fun. It is. God, it is. Down with the Sickness oh, cover halfway through. Oh, yeah. It's just, like, it's, it's not Evil Dead 2 level, like, goofy fun. Yeah. It's just, like, pure horror fun. Like, yeah. Every time you watch it, you're like, oh, I'll just watch a little bit until, like, this next part. Then that happens, and then you're like, oh, shit, but this part coming up is really good, yeah. too. And you just keep watching the exactly. whole Exactly. And it toes the line between kind of keeping itself a little serious and mm -hmm. not being, like, planet terror. Which, yeah. like, yeah. which I also was like, man, do I include that, too? Oh, because shit. I love planet terror yeah. so much. But, like, it's that one is goofy for the sake of being goofy for the most part. Or okay. for all of it, really. Yeah. So, like... Yeah. Um, yeah, that one's, uh, that one's one of my top faves. Uh, right. let's go to the next one. Uh, oh, Drag Me to Hell. Oh, God. We just, we just recently watched this and it solidified why <laughs> oh. I love this movie so much. Like, oh, I say God. stuff about Mrs. Gandouche <laughs> probably 90% of my day. Um, <laughs> it's so good and I think, like, I have another Sam Raimi movie on my list. Like, yeah. there's just something about his horror movies that are so good. Um, and Drag Me to Hell is just so fun, and it has some of the grossest and creepiest stuff in it as well. It is flat out disgusting. Yeah! We showed it to my kid, because yeah. he's, he's there for all these Neil Knights. Yeah. He liked the, uh, he, the first movie that we watched, and then we followed it up with Drag Me to Hell, and he's like, I didn't like that one. I'm like, why not? He's like, Mrs. Ganoush. Oh. <laughs> so she uh, made an impact. Yeah, good. As Ganoush should. Yes. Come on through, Troy. Oh. <laughs> Hit up that next one. Oh. Next Sam Raimi one, yep. Evil Dead 2. Okay, so Evil Dead 1 is great, yep. in my opinion. Evil Dead 2 just... Just kicks it up a million notches. Ups the ante. It ups the ante, and I was just telling you this when we were watching Drag Me to Hell, that Sam Raimi does one of my favorite horror movie things, and it's maybe it's just movie things in general, but inanimate floating objects. <laughs> For some reason, Sam Raimi does it perfectly, where there's like a bucket or a stool floating in the background, you're like, what the fuck is that doing? And it's just hilarious. 
and a big deer head on the wall that cranks around and starts <laughs> laughing at you. <laughs> Just great. And, like, he has all of the Sam Raimi tropes in Evil Dead 2. Oh. It's probably where he kind of came off with birth yeah. a lot of them in that one. Yep. Just such a good classic one. It is. Next up, Paul. Next one! We got Ooh. Green Room. Maybe, so, I was, I was... This kind one of blurs the line. It does. Right? And I was talking to you about this earlier because I'm like, man, because I, I almost want to throw like Pan's Labyrinth into here too, but it's not like, it's not intended to be horror. It's just creepy. Yeah. But in my opinion, neo Nazis in uh, real life are the scariest thing the, in the world. Yeah. So, good, good pull. And like, Green Room is terrifying because it's just kids trapped amongst like Patrick Stewart and his goonies, really. <laughs> yeah. And like, it is brutal. It's mm. absolutely brutal. Like, Anton Yelchin gets his hand just busted yeah. up. And right like, off the bat. Right off the bat, too. In a horrific way with, like, a fucking hammer. And it's just yeah. terrifying. And it's all like, dude, these kids are don't even know what they're in for from this real-life shitty fucking group. Yeah. Just a terrible situation to be put in. Yeah. And this same director, I think it's Jeremy Solinger. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But he did a, a movie right before this called... Uh, Blue Ruin, which is equally excellent, mm -hmm. and it's another one that's very, like, real-life horror, and none of it plays out how a normal movie would. It's more like, this is what would happen if you were in this situation, and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's like, it's not fun, and it's not flashy, it's just fucking brutal and yeah. gross. And it could be real. Like, yeah. that's probably where the, some of the scarier parts come in. And one more fun fact, the first movie he ever did that was released widespread, Murder Party. Which is the which is oh, a rip movie off that we of did as well. No, I don't know who came first, but uh, we made our own murder party, unbeknownst that there was an existing murder party. Yeah. Uh, but always felt a kinship. Yeah. <laughs> Hit Great up that director. next one, Paul. For my next one, Train to Busan, which is probably one of my favorite zombie movies ever made. It's a South Korean flick. Um, in I bel I think it's getting a, in a remake somewhere, an American. It, it had remake. a sequel. It did have a sequel. That's right. Um, but this one is so good. Just a man protecting his um his kin uh from a zombie apocalypse, and it's all like on this train. It's horrifying and very like almost had like, had me like weeping at the end. It was like one of those that was like very touching. But like also just terrifying to be a part of too. I have never seen this. I, oh. It's been on my list forever, and somehow we've just never watched it. Yeah. yeah but uh, the fact that it's on your top five, I will remedy that in the next five years. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Was that five or four? I think that was all of them. Okay. Well, I have one. Um, mm. I had one kind of. Um, Honorable mention. Honorable mention. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and that's the movie. It's kind of more of a suspense than it is horror. Mm. But it's called Caliber. It's it was a Netflix one that you had to watch. Okay. Um, I don't think I've seen this. And it's it's just like the most uneasy feeling in the world, where like people get misjudged as something, mm. and then the whole town kind of turns on them, and then they end up like just the most tension you'd ever feel in a movie where it, like it kind of blurs the line of like is it really a horror movie it doesn't have like a slasher or anything yeah. in it but it's like got so much tension in it like it's just like holy shit you just kind of want it to end kind of a movie <laughs> where it's like just two friends are just pitted against each other is it american or is it foreign no it's like scottish i think okay or irish i can't remember it's okay. one of the two interesting yeah nice good lineup yeah good lineup we have some overlap in our own, Ooh. but I, I threw in one extra just in case. Let's hear it. No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Paul, can we can we go on one more adventure before we get too far along here? Uh, let me cue up a, an oldie. An oldie? Just to lighten the mood. I mean, Please do. About... I mean, it's been very spooky. Let's lighten the mood. Please do. Hey, what day is it? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. That's not even a day of the week. <laughs> oh my god, she's gone! <laughs> That's spookier than anything. That is spooky. It's not even a day of the week. Oh my god, do you have anything to follow that up? I do. Alright, one more. One I more. Have, uh, let's action. We're gonna switch to action. 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 Oh my god, action, action horror. Wow. Dawn of the Dead vibe. Oops. 
Nope. Oh, oh my! Nope, not that one. Your personal files, Paul. No. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the wrong kind of action. Watch out for slips, trips, and falls, as this guy is going to <laughs> slip, trip, fall, and die. Oh my god. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Come <laughs> on. Just a cold-blooded killer. He that. sure was. <laughs> Good lord! What happened to him? <laughs> well, he was crucified. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. He lets everyone know. Um, how's the chat doing? I see a lot of big blocks of text. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Some Oki dude saying he wanted to ask, but is Murder Party inspired any way by Hellboy due to the frog monsters? And the answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we are doing a comic book adaptation of that right now. Yeah. But uh, I'm drawing along with. Uh, two other talented artists and we're going to be putting that out sometime here it's still coming along but it's 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 i'm not just saying that we actually have a lot done on it <laughs> yeah i would say we're like 70 percent done um but for the comic we changed it so it was not quite so hellboy inspired yeah we changed them to snail monsters <laughs> yeah. which i later found out is very uh uzumaki Junji Ito inspired <laughs> very sloopy but yeah, i i did not it. know that at the time no. <laughs> um so troy i've got a i've got a question for you oh boy what do you sleep like Fuck you. <laughs> Can you give us a sleep demonstration, please? Well, apparently, I sleep like a Dracula. And uh, in order for me to get comfortable, I sleep on my back. And this is how I... I might not stay like this the whole night. How have we not done this on the dream stream yet? I don't know. But I'll sleep on my back. I will cross my legs. And then I will put my hands over my chest like this. <laughs> And I will just drift off to dreamland <laughs> until uh, I eventually toss and turn. But uh, that's initially how I need to go down. Like a Dracula. Like just a Dracula. nobody put a stake in my heart. Because otherwise, uh, you know, you'll be I'd dead. dead. Turns, out, dead. turns out stakes kill humans too in the heart, so <laughs> it's all fine. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if I eat too much steak, my doctor says I'll probably die too. <laughs> <laughs> so, very true. That's it. Uh, <laughs> I've got a couple more favorite horror movies. Mm -hmm. um, this is from the seventies. No, you did seventies. This is from the eighties. <laughs> thank, thank God, the Imperius Rex business managers here <laughs> catch these little uh, snafus. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Prince of Darkness, Demons, The Gate. The Blob Remake, The Beyond, Night of the Creeps, yes. Hellraiser, Creepshow, Reanimator, Evil Dead 2, Videodrome, Predator, Possession. What an amazing decade. Poltergeist, The Thing, American Werewolf in London, Return of the Living Dead, Videodrome I have again for some reason, <laughs> <laughs> The Shining, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Fly, and Aliens. That's a great what a year. year. That's the eighties, man. Golly. The 80s. That's the John 80s. Carpenter living large. Uh, living his best. Living life. his best. Jeffrey Combs living his oh. best. Just so good. Yeah. Uh Paul, I think I'm ready to do my top five. Let's oh. I think I'm ready. Can we? Yes. Oh, oh Nagi! Oh. oh my god. That was actually the, the last one I wanted you to show. But, uh, <laughs> Too late! Show no, it! No, no, go, no, no, now you're spoiling ah. everything! So. Uh, so, me and Neil picked Evil Dead 2, which we overlapped. So I won one more with the same flavor. And this is Cemetery Man. This mm -hmm. amazing, amazing, bizarre Italian horror flick starring Rupert Everett. And it is just, it's an actual, it's actually an adaptation of the uh, graphic novel Dylan Dog. Are you getting it? Yep. All right. I didn't want to move all the toys on it. But That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Dylan Dog. Here we go. 
<laughs> not to be confused I mean, you don't have to, yeah. with the uh, Brandon Routh movie that yeah. was made. Well, it, that was also an adaptation. <laughs> not so good. You want the good stuff, you go to Cemetery Man. There you go. And uh, if you can track this thing down, I don't know its streaming availability, but you will have an absolute blast. It is an all-timer. Nice. Just off the wall. It's so good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, what, else, what else do I got? Paul, here we go. We we oh. said it. It's a classic. Evil Dead 2. Just so good. I mean, yeah, it deserves to be in every best of horror list because it is just so fucking fun. <laughs> I show my kids this every year. God, <laughs> this is classic. I'm waiting for us to watch it this year. Oh, it, it's getting there. Oh, <laughs> boy. All right. Next up, uh, this is what I consider the scariest movie ever made. As I shared earlier, this traumatized me as a kid. It still holds true into adulthood. I think this movie just feels evil with every frame of film <laughs> in it. It's just, and I'm not even like, I guess when I saw it, I was, you know, fairly religious. I went to church with my parents and everything, so it was a fear of like, I could be possessed by the devil. Yeah. That would be awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> and then as I got older, it hit like a different fear where like as a parent, it would be horrible if your kid just had like some weird mental illness that you couldn't identify. So not only is like the spiritual like religious theme terrifying, but also like a psychological theme where it's like, I don't know what to do here. This kid is bouncing off the walls. Yeah. And I don't know how to help, how to help them, how to stop it, mm -hmm. anything. Have you, have you seen The Exorcist trilogy? I've never seen it all the way through, but I've seen chunks of it. Yeah? Yeah. It is something else. So, yeah. this is one, I, I'm going to probably downplay your all your thoughts on it, but I saw it as an adult, and I was like, who thought this was scary? Well, that you're, was, you're wrong. Uh, I know! <laughs> and it didn't help that probably my first exposure to it was like, Scary, scary Movie, movie four. 2 or 4, or <laughs> yeah. whichever one it was. You are just like, ugh. But I don't know. I <laughs> Come on, chat. Let me know. Anyone in the chat, Exorcist scary? Yes or no? Let's create a poll right now. Is Franco, Franco says the Exorcist is scary. This it is, is number scary. One. This is number one. Also, uh, the bots are back. Uh, they say, the here, girls back. want everyone, even you. <laughs> even even you. us. So, wow, God. look at us. How, How nice it? of them. How about Let's that? Check it out. How nice. <laughs> Paul, have you ever seen The Exorcist? Thank you. Uh, you should invite me over and I'll watch it. Nope. One day. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, one more here? Or do we have two more? Uh, have next two more. up here, let's see. Reanimator. Halloween just classic. Just a classic. We just watched this, uh, yeah. what, a week Last ago? Last Saturday. Yep. Yeah. Just fantabulous. This is up there with Evil Dead 2 and Cemetery Man. So I tried to make this... My favorite horror movies, I tried to not just be, like, spooky, like, really horrible, scary, or, like, gratuitously violent. I'm just kind of going for, like, the fun Halloween atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And Reanimator is absolutely one of those. And then I think uh, my next one is also one of those here. Paul, can pull it up. No, it's not. This <laughs> one is the opposite of that. <laughs> the Ring is uh, what I would put up there with The Exorcist, like mm -hmm. the most modern horror movie that I thought captured that same sense of dread. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, that closet scene just yeah. wrecked me. I think a horse gets chewed up by a boat propeller. Well, yeah, I mean, It'll you gotta, happen. you gotta do that. <laughs> and then you uh, do. this movie, like as I said, the sense of dread throughout is permeable. You can cut it with a knife. And at the end of this, when you think everything is okay, spoilers for the ring, they solve the mystery, it's all good, not so fast. <laughs> There's one more scare. And when that girl comes out of the TV, when I saw this in a crowded theater, and she just like starts crawling out, you could hear and sense everyone in their seats just like lean back <laughs> away from it. <laughs> It was just something else. It was an experience that, like, everyone says, like, oh, you need to see this in the theater. And I was like, fuck you, you don't, you don't. They say that about, <laughs> they say that about Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> one, <laughs> like, I saw it in a crowded theater, and it, like, it left an impression. And I don't know if, it, if it's the same for everyone else, but this movie just really, man, it, it uh, left a mark. Wow. 
The ring. It's terrifying. It it's is. scary. One more, Paul. Let's do it. Let's My number it. one trick or treat. God, <laughs> so what? good. A fucking blast. A treat. It's right in the name. It is. It is like the <laughs> best thing you could watch on Halloween. We just saw it at the drive-in, a double mm -hmm. feature at the <laughs> drive-in. Yeah. And it was fantastic. This is just so much fun. It's yeah. not the pulp fiction of cheesy Halloween horror. Lots of different tales happening on Halloween night, mm -hmm. and every one of them is just so enjoyable. Yeah. Captures the spirit of the holiday, and uh, it's a blast. That's I agree. It. What a great list. Thank you. From everyone. Thanks. Man. I wasn't part of the, the text thread, so I didn't oh, prepare anything. Do you, do you have anything? No. I oh. didn't have time to prepare. Okay. <laughs> do you have anything off the top of the dome? No. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, should we spin the wheel? <laughs> oh, God! No! <laughs> um, well, what... You still have three decades. You better get through some... <laughs> I'm gonna give one more decade here. One more decade. You're gonna do the 90s now. We're moving on to the 90s. Nice. Uh, Lord of Illusions. Mm. Clive Barker. Okay. Uh, Cemetery Man. <sighs> Cube. From Dusk Till Dawn. The Frighteners. Stir of Echoes. Mm -hmm. Candyman. Sleepy Hollow, oh. Jacob's Ladder, Scream, Audition, The Blair Witch Project, Dead Alive, Tremors. I've only ever seen two of those movies. That's not a lot. lot. <laughs> <laughs> 90's not as strong. No, say. it was not a strong decade. I would say it's it, it you're starting to see the um, the foreign influence come in a little bit more, maybe. Well, it comes in a little bit more uh, in the next decade. Well, I'm, I'm just saying it's just kind of getting That's introduced. A big chunk there you have. I know. I, I told you it comes in strong. Wow. <laughs> um. So I see our our viewership is uh, the same. <laughs> well, it's been about the same. <laughs> Do we want to check how the GoFundMe is doing? Have we hit a thousand yet? Yes. Let's because hold on yet. because I'm ready to give away some stuff. John Carlos is uh, in the meantime while you're looking that up. Uh, number five, The Strangers. Mm. We've all, yep, we mentioned it. Number four, Spit on Your Grave. Oh my, I've never the original. Heard, I've never heard of that one. It's uh, it's a video nasty. Ooh, okay. Meaning it's uh, got a lot of rape in it. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Like Irreversible. Kind oh, of like. yeah. Yep. That's that's also, it's that's also just got has a lot, a lot of rape, rape in it. <laughs> yep. It's gross. Uh, number three, Seven, which is just great. Yep. Seven's great. Also has some rape. <laughs> uh, yeah. Number two, Downloading Nancy. Never heard of it. Never heard of that one either. Number one, Brain Scan. Brain Scan again. Is this the same Brain Scan fan? Maybe. I gotta watch Brain I Scan, I guess. Uh, right now, the GoFundMe is at $961. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> we are so close. Right. We are so close, everybody. $39. What, what kind of prizes are you giving out? Because I might just go donate so I get the prize. <laughs> you don't want what I'm giving. <laughs> you can get it anytime. <laughs> <laughs> what are you giving <laughs> Comics and oh. shirts. You got enough of that. Oh my god. If we can get it, if we can hit that $1,000. As we've said, what did we say? They could pick a, they pick the episode? Pick the episode. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. God. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. imagine if we did it? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Paul, do we have any clips to play while I run to the bathroom quick? <laughs> we, have a, we have a couple. Um, you talked about fear. You talked about scariness. Oh, yeah. All episode. Let me, let me show you what I think is the scariest thing I've ever filmed. In my life. Welcome to my parlor. Well, I like what you've done with the place. A friend of yours. All of my friends are dead. And soon you'll be joined, man. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What a classic scene. Yeah, very good. I the more I watch all of our stuff, I just want to leave here and watch it instead. <laughs> <laughs> I I know they've just made it into our lives as like inside jokes. But like there's a few people from the 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 community out there that have watched them 
And I'm starting <laughs> quoting some stuff too. And they're on the level. I'm oh, going to tell you they that know right it. now. They know it. God, it's great stuff. We should just re-release them on the channel. Just oh, as yeah. like some fun goofs. You Why know? not? Fun goofs. Why fun not? Goofs. Fun goofs. Some of them we have to track down though. Paul, yeah. can we track those down? I got another one. Whoa. Oh, check this. This is a, this is a fun one. All right. It involves a lot of Finally, a effects. fun one. <laughs> check it out. time to be alive and make those movies i guess oh, god we're not making them anymore nope. <laughs> as much as we talk about it <laughs> yeesh um well what else what else we got ready for the show we got to uh, ready to wrap it up we've been going on about two hours <laughs> two hours my god <laughs> yeah uh i had a couple more talking points but we're gonna we're gonna let's see wrap this up hey <laughs> <laughs> time is money baby <laughs> um what's your favorite horror movie I don't know. You make me watch so much. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's a mo uh, horror movie that you love that we've watched recently? I mean, we've talked about it. I feel like Reanimator is one I always come back to. I'm giving you Midsummer here. I mean, as a favorite. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> I don't like Midsummer all that wow. much. Wow. Hey. Girl power in that movie. Mm. Oh, all right. I'm gonna become best friends with Florence Pugh. I'm working on it. All right. Yeah. I got an in. Oh God. I mean, but, I do like the splat off the jump. Oh, the clip that's good. jump. That was good. Fun. And a good bear Fun. costume burning. Anything with a bear costume's great. Mm -hmm. Wicker Man punching yeah. out some lady. Her yep. her smile at the end of that movie just makes me laugh maniacally <laughs> every time you. I watch. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's just like that's that's the pure joy I want that's at the, the end dream. of my life. That's yes. the dream. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm going for. Uh, what movie <laughs> deserves another reboot or remake? I've got one. Oh, no, you go I, ahead. Wait, another like remake? Something. Like, it's already been remade? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's not necessarily a horror movie, but I would like to see a remake of Escape from New York. Mm, that's a good answer. Because those are boring as shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, Escape from New York is like a cult thing, and I, I finally watched it not that long ago and was not blown away. But I feel like it's a good premise. Yeah. And I feel like it can be zhuzhed up just mm. a smidge. Yeah. With a little extra dough. As long as you throw Kurt Russell a bone and get him in there. Oh, yeah, well, why absolutely. not? That'd still work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You know what? We I showed my kids the Blob remake not too long ago. The uh, '80s version. It's great. It's good. Good time. But I feel like the Blob is timeless. You could do another Blob. Mm -hmm. And I would love to see a remake of the Blob where maybe like it comes in in like the sewer and goes up an imp a uh, apartment complex mm -hmm. and just works its way up from the bottom up, like through the sewers and like the the plumbing and everything, and yeah. just like the people up top. It's almost like the raid. They have to figure wow. out how they're going they to get out of here the blob as the blob <laughs> is just, like, crawling up to the top. I think that would be great. I also think, like, The Thing, it's a classic, but it is in itself a remake. So I wouldn't mind seeing another take at The Thing. Like, put it in another environment or put it in another cold environment. Have it fight an Eskimo or something. <laughs> I think that would be great. I think that is a monster that is, uh, to answer Pudlord's question from earlier... A really great monster that you can do a lot with in a variety of different scenarios. Uh, Crashline says a Logan's Run remake. Mm. Mm. Not that Logan's Wasn't Run. that what In Time was? That Justin Timberlake movie? Uh, Amazing. <laughs> Wasn't maybe. that kind of Logan's Run? I guess. I'm no not idea. sure. Oh, man. Um, um, Ryan Carroll, a uh, Man Thing series, more than anything, we're a try again on that one. <laughs> I know they kind of flubbed the first time they tried that, but like something like that could be good, kind of Bayou horror type stuff. Yeah. Well, they tried it with Swamp Thing and kind of fucked it up yeah. <laughs> recently. Yeah. Man Thing would be cool. I mean, there's that weird sci-fi movie of it. Well, that's that exists. Yeah. we're talking about, right? Yeah. 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 But 
I think, like, he looks creepy enough. They kind of retooled him just a little bit. Um, I think it'd be fun. Man All right. thing. All right. Yeah. yeah. Those All who right. fear the man thing feel his touch or feel the burn of his touch or something Ooh, like that. Feel the burn. They feel, feel the burn. burn. Yeah. It's like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or CrossFit or something. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think we're kind of winding down here, so I don't want to. I don't want to preemptively close anything down, but Paul, do we have some some good clips that we want to make sure we hit up before this is over? Mm. Paul. Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm getting cursed is the worst thing. Paul. Ever. <laughs> so you know what? Yeah. I think I think this stream is gonna curse all the people unless they donate and get us to the goal. <laughs> So let's watch what happens to people when they get cursed. Uh. Hey, what are these keys not on you at all times? Just keep the keys in the arcade. What the fuck you doing with the keys on the table? So the keys, sorry, you keep, you keep bringing up the keys. Uh, I mean, uh, what's the significance keys? of the hey, keys? Hey, I told you, drop the keys. No keys. All right, drop the no keys. keys. He dropped keys. Uh, you oh, know, sh no, you keep keys no. in pocket. You no. keep, you, you drop I keys, did. you I... keep keys. Keys. No? I feel like nobody understands what I say when I talk about keys. Okay, these are my trinkets that I keep. These are my things that like good things to me. There, I mean, where, where did, what's the origin of these things? I mean, there's so many things well, here. I mean, I don't even know where to start. No, no, no. This is sacred possession here. Well, why don't you tell us, Paul? Paul, you got, you zooming in? Not on me. Nah, you Paul, get Paul? close to this. this what is, do we got here? I mean, what are these things? It's cross. Cursed by good gypsy. Cur good gypsy? Good gypsy. Seems like a little bit of a double negative. Cursing from a good gypsy. Gypsy always curse. Always curse. <laughs> I, so, what, we keep showing clips of that one. That one during the moment was my like least favorite thing to film ever, but the more I watch it, the more I love it. I don't know why. <laughs> It is just Borat and, uh, in a tracksuit. Kind of. But uh, the, the one thing I like about when we filmed those Ghost Hunter Dave things yeah. is that they had a very loose script oh and God. it was all improv <laughs> yes. so it could go anywhere. And I loved it for that. Oh, I loved it for that. It, it is stuff that you never realize how funny it is until you watch it afterwards, I think. <laughs> Paul, we have a couple other Ghost Hunter adventures there, I believe, that I don't think we've shown too much of. Uh, a, a fellow named Eugene, which may have had a spooky encounter. Okay. But uh, do we have any more with Eugene? Oh, boy. We do. Let's cue it up. All right. Well, let's show you around these walls a bit here. Now, uh, do you mind if I ask, how uh, did you get that gash on your cheek? Well, Mr. Stare, got a scrape. <clears throat> There's definitely oh ghosts God, in this Jesus. building. This man oh. has obviously encountered him before. He's oh. traumatized by it. I have never so, seen a ghost before, and that was just this terrifying. Man, it's just bringing up all kinds of deep, repressed memories. I, oh, my God. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Mary. Oh, my God. Oh, my Joseph. Oh, my God. All those biblical people. <laughs> Eugene. Troy, what went into the crafting of Eugene? I don't know. I think it was a mixture of like three different people I worked with at the time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Are there more? Are there more Eugene? <laughs> there are more there's Eugene. There's let's more. let's just god, let's blow carry him out. <laughs> yeah, blow the blow the Eugene load here. We need we need to be more light. More light? More, more light. light. Uh, yeah, we got more lights on. We'll get a light. Yeah. Uh, see how you got the marks. Yeah. 
That's how I took a spill down the stairs. There's buckets on the stairs? Oh, well, sometimes I put buckets where I want to put buckets, Dave. It's my damn building. I put buckets where I want to put buckets. That's just... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I think I busted open my damn cheek again. Damn it. Not the first time we've been chased out of our uh, investigations. Get this shit out of here. But overall, uh, pretty rough keys. Uh, pretty effective episode, I think. We should be good. Hey, hey. just like made a couple little trips back there to <laughs> film some ghost hunter daves and full of random stuff it it was absolutely just it was a, a cornucopia of <laughs> yeah. many different things anything you needed was in that yes. building Doors. bunch of buckets <laughs> <Yeah>. tubs <laughs> oh my lord what a good time to be alive that was God. amazing uh, I was just talking to Dinosaur Neil while you were out. Uh, we should re-upload those to the channel or whatever. They're on there. Nobody watches them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're on there, so check them out. Some of them aren't on there, though, are they? No, I think they're Some all the on early there. Stuff? <laughs> Ghost Hunter Dave series. Check it out. Yeah. Yep. GHDs. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. The yeah. origin of GHD. I mean, that's... It is, yeah. Cool. I mean, uh, yeah, my Ghost Hunter Dave moniker came from that. Yeah. Oh, man. What a... What a... What a time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, do we want to, what's, what's, uh, should we check in one more time? One more time here as we wind down. We are at $980 currently. Oh my God. We are $20 Woo! short. $20 away. And, uh, let us remind you that if you are the one that brings us over that finish line of $1,000, that's just $20 that you have to donate. You get to pick an Imperius Rex episode for us to do, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I kid, we will do it. We will do it. Yes. Uh, amazing. We're doing it. We're doing a telethon. We are. A real life telethon. As people are grabbing their credit cards. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, you don't get to do it. <laughs> I'm going to give you my uh, 2000s favorite horror movies here. So, we got a week away from Halloween. Week and a half. Yeah. So take notes. These are some Ghost Hunter Dave faves. Okay. Dave Saw. Faves. Dave faves. <laughs> Dave's faves. Saw. The original. Oh, yeah. Session nine. Wreck. Antichrist. Oh god. The ring. Inside. Martyrs. The mist. God. Trick or treat. House of the Devil. Drag me to hell. Hills have eyes. The orphanage. Pan's labyrinth. Dawn of the dead. The 2000 version. Mm -hmm. Devil's Rejects, 28 days and or weeks later. American Psycho. Shaun of the Dead. The Descent. Grindhouse. Midnight Meat Train. Cloverfield. Dog Soldiers. Paranormal Activity. You know what? I'm throwing it in there. That first one? Pretty spooky. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the Host. Let the Right One In. And House of Wax. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, House of Wax will never go Pretty away. Pretty good decade, I'd say. It was a very good decade for horror. It was after 9-11, so people were ready for trauma. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> wow. It really was. You look back on, like, horrible things, and if there's any big real-world terror going on, usually the horror movies are pretty good at that time because they're okay. all kind of making a statement okay. on that. 2000s was the year of torture porn. Yeah. And uh, we had 9-11, as we said, so it was just a feeling of dread and unease, which horror reflected. Mm -hmm. Mm. All right, do you I'll want, take it. Do you want the 2010s? Should yeah. I just spit it out yeah, right here? Yeah, just rattle them off. I'm going to do it. Ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, Black Swan, a favorite. The Skin I Live In, Under the Skin, Suspiria, the remake, the sailing. Evil Dead remake, <laughs> Doctor Sleep, the follow-up mm. to The Shining, yeah. quite good. No one saw it, but quite good. A Quiet Place, uh, Gerald's Game, The Green Room, Insidious, 
Let Me In, the remake to Let the Right One In, which I just said. Autopsy of Jane Doe, The one. Kill List. It. The first one's better. It. <laughs> uh, Candyman, the most recent. The Witch, The Babadook, Annihilation, Mandy. <laughs> it Follows, Midsummer, and Hereditary. That's, That's what I got. Not bad not either, either, actually. Good yeah. list. Any uh, any things that you want to mention <clears throat> or go into more depth on? I know a few people in the chat have been talking about some of those. Uh, it follows. I saw before. That one's a that was a pretty I love good. It follows. That's a pretty good innovative one. Also, real another really kind of creepy thing where it's super just, tense. Yeah, just I want. I keep wanting to like show my kids that one, <laughs> but I'm like, oh wait, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing hinges on fucking. <laughs> like that, maybe not. Oops. Yep. Um, good list, though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And with that... Oh, my. We have not only reached the goal, but we are $20 over hey. the $1,000 goal. Oh, my God. What? That's right. My word. Look at that. Look at that. No. Thank God. I think a we good did special it. thank you... I, to everyone who's watching now, thank you. Everyone who will watch this later on VOD, thank right. you so much. <laughs> Please feel free to donate then as well. I mean, it's just going to yeah. keep it going there. Yeah, man. And uh, we'll, as we said, we Paul, can you put the camera on me for Christ's sake? <laughs> <laughs> Let's show Troy more in his Robin shirt. <laughs> I like Robin. Yeah, Robin's <laughs> fine. <laughs> we will make sure that everyone is, uh, you know, uh, I guess I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Rewarded and uh, acknowledged for their contribution. I'll take care of it. Business manager's on it. Golly. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. My yeah. goodness. Can, can we play a celebratory uh, decapitation scene? I would love it if we <laughs> could. It's, uh, it's spooky season, of course. Of course. You see this? Play it. Cue it up. Let's do it. <laughs> Evolution hasn't been kind to you, wise and calm. Now let's finish this, you butt fucking baboon! We did Good it. Good job. Did it, guys. Amazing. That was a blast filming that one. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty great. <laughs> Do you want to call out who was the, the gorilla there? Oh, yeah, sure. The gorilla was uh, my friend from college. His name was Dave Duca. He really got into the role. Oh, my God. He, he came did. with his own props and everything and made everything you see there, like, at my house. <laughs> <laughs> he just had my whole living room dismantled to make this thing. Sitting uh, crisscross applesauce <laughs> on your floor, <laughs> yeah. piecing together yeah. that robotic yeah. gorilla arm. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, one last note I have here in my list of notes... What are some of your favorite Halloween costumes that you have put together? Okay, okay. And I, I, I feel like we should have prepared a little bit more on this. Our fault. We don't have photos on this, but maybe you can paint a picture, a visual picture, sure. with your words. Sure. I have one that uh, I can give you time to think on. But so, I made a Doc Ock costume a few years ago. And it was all based on is we got new Mac computers at work. And they come in with like these styrofoam like four fingered claw things. And I was like, I looked at them in the garbage and then I <laughs> someone saw me taking all of this garbage home. And I used these like This guy uh, really likes garbage. Yeah. <laughs> so I got and I it was like classic Doc Ock. So it was like all green, probably these pants, green shirt, like a yellow belt, like these big old glasses on, like these visor glasses. And then I used copper tubing for the two, or like the base of the arms, and then used um, dryer vent, like ventilation stuff, and painted these styrofoam things gray. And I had them attached with fishing line to the bottom ones that would, like, wiggle around. Oh, my God. It, it was incredible. I'm sure I have pictures somewhere that I can post um, online somewhere. But 
That was probably one of my bigger uh, achievements as far as Halloween costumes. That was a rad costume. Probably a bitch to get around in a crowd. It was terrible. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> we went to a costume weird. contest. I'm like, I guess I won't sit down anywhere. No. <laughs> What'd you get, third place? And I only got third place. Oh. Yeah. I got second place, and I just put on the Wonder Woman costume yeah. that, I did, that I had. Great. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Uh, one of my favorites uh, from recent memory is when I dressed up as the hunter from Jumanji. That one was pretty good. I won a costume contest with that. And How much did you win? $100. Nice. How much do you spend on the costume? $100. <laughs> yeah. Probably about that much. but uh, Real quick, chat. Anyone who's on the chat, 17 people watching, best costume you've ever put together for Halloween mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. All right. Go on. That's a good one, though. Um, I also was Dr. Manhattan one time, <laughs> where I wore like little tiny briefs and painted my entire body blue. Yeah. What's uh, funny is, is I went to your apartment before you set that up, and uh, it took you, what, 45 minutes to get your body all cleaned and shaved <laughs> to put paint on? Yeah. Yeah, that took a while. I was in a hot shower. I think I used up all the hot water. All Just, the nair? <laughs> the nair didn't do anything. I had to go in there with like a bick and bick it all off. Oh, God. Then I was itchy forever. <laughs> oh. Uh, so there's that. Um, I also did another one where I did a whole body painting where I was the, the like that half-breed thing from Underworld. Oh, I remember where I was that. Like half, yeah. I, that was way when I was in college and I had like the, the pointy ears, the black blackout lenses for the contacts and painted my entire body black. Yeah. That was pretty rad. Is um, Paul finding footage of this right now? Paul is just... He's surfing the web. He's hacking. Both comic pop <laughs> returns. Good looking show. What? Hey, thanks, Comic Pop. Wow. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, we, uh, me and my wife did We Are Mummies. There's my Doc oh, Ock costume. Oh, <laughs> yes, thank you, Paul. <laughs> Look at that. I even had the yellow gloves and everything. Where are you at? Are you at a bank? <laughs> <laughs> I was in my uh, old office. office. Give, me all, yeah, give me all your coins. Give me all your coins. Yep, Aunt May was there looking to <laughs> set up a loan. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was great. I loved it. Yeah, where that work sucked, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, me and my wife were mummies one year, which was pretty sweet. That was a good mummy. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I was Bojack Horseman one year when that Jeez. was hot. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Uh, that was the probably the hottest costume I ever had. It was mask. that rubber mask that was a horse, just making me sick. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's also, good. Chelsea in the chat. Uh, Get home. Room. Well, that and I broke her sewing machine making those mummy costumes. Oh, <laughs> that was a bad day. You just need some gauze. <laughs> What'd you break? Because I sewed actual strips to like uh, something I could pull on and off. You know you can just wrap that around you. Nah, too hard. All right. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to make it easier. <laughs> oh, we did a really good black swan and white swan costume one year for a big mm -hmm. Halloween party that we threw. Mm -hmm. And uh, that later appeared in Murder Party because, like, we had all the shit. So we might as well <laughs> put that in. Yeah. And then recently we did a, uh, a Belle and, uh, Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Guess Which, who was the beauty? <laughs> who was it? Me. You were the beauty? I was the beast. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but we didn't win that one. It was a shame. Mm. Sid and Nancy. Shame. Some, yeah. some ladies dressed as Sid and mm. Nancy won that one, and I'm still a bit Bitter? sore. I on guess that one. one of my better ones was actually where I kind of get my moniker from Dinosaur Neil from oh. the uh, the uh, 90s animated tick cartoon <laughs> where I actually had a full dinosaur costume just like he had with a big plush tail and everything. Oh, that got worn so much. It got by worn everyone. That was everyone. passed around like a bag of Oreos. <laughs> oh, it was our so friends. bad. Yeah. It was gross. It's pro I hope it's in hell right now. <laughs> but that was that was one of my better ones. It shows up in our murder party movie. It does. Yeah. Yeah, it showed yeah. up in everything for yeah, yeah. a while. Yeah. yeah, it was something else. Your mom made that. Yeah, correct. And your mom made a fantastic Superman costume for you too. Oh yeah, yes, a custom Superman costume, which ended up being awesome. Yeah, and now <laughs> it is in tatters in my yeah. house somewhere. <laughs> uh, you guys were preacher one time too. Oh yeah, uh, me and my wife. I was Jesse Custer, and she was Tulip. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you got the fuck communism. Uh, lighter. I got the fuck communism lighter. Yep. Paul, yep. any fa any. Uh, 
top costumes from you. I know you put you pieced together some pretty great yeah. stuff. You, you had, had a good Batman. Mandalorian one. You had a Mandalorian. Well, that's spoiler. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Spoiler. Um, no, I was a uh, steampunk Batman one year. And uh, <laughs> and the Mandalorian, so that's it. And that's it. That's been every Halloween. Homemade though. You, Homemade. Good, great, good, great costumes. Yep. And this year, Spammer's back. Gotta love them. <laughs> this year, squirt. what was their favorite costume? <laughs> Thanks, Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Best girls in the world. Uh, if we can do a little spoiler, preemptive spoilers to this Halloween coming up in a week and a half. Oh, we can't. Uh, we are planning something amazing. <laughs> yeah. Right now, because uh, we've all been vaccinated. I mean, COVID's still out there. Delta variant. We gotta play it safe. That's but right. we're gonna go out on the town. We're gonna try to live it up a little bit. Away from the kids. A sweet release. <laughs> we are doing an Austin Powers Halloween. <laughs> and it is gonna be... Groovy, Shagadelic. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna shag ourselves rotten. On this one. <laughs> So stay tuned. We may have some updates on that, but it is going to be uh, something else. Yeah. yeah, it was based on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Austin. It was all based on the really dumb premises. Like, what if we all individually walked into a bar as Austin Powers, <laughs> and then just everyone just Austin Powers the shit out of the room? Like, yeah. Austin! Oh my oh, God! God. How great to see. Great to see you. You're yeah. there. Oh, that's not who you are, but you're there. <laughs> oh my God. We already have some plans to get some footage of this. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. be something else. Yeah. Uh, so is that it? I think that's I it. Think it's do it. we have any? I I have clips left. What do uh, we got? What do we got, Paul? One clip. Uh, viewer discretion advised. <laughs> oh my. A couple times. <laughs> just run, let's just burn them. Just do it. Just burn through it. Wow. Like a burn Roman candle. Them. Shoot that deer. Allergic. No, I wouldn't shoot the deer. I wouldn't shoot a deer either. Looks like he's having a good time. Just stayed in there. All right. Been we'll there all day. This last area here, and hey, ball. Try to keep up, huh? Who shows us. Yeah. Ghost hunter Dave. He doesn't not, not pay uh, you for not normal, Mister. Uh, joining us on this spooktacular live stream tonight. Yeah. We got to our goal of $1,000 and then some right, for our yeah. fundraising uh, campaign. Comics for Classrooms. So that was pretty rad. Uh, thanks for Paul joining us tonight and producing the show. Yeah. Putting on a bunch of clips. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for the business manager showing up. And, uh, <laughs> oh, going to drop on down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thanks for everybody watching. Obviously, we couldn't do it without you guys. Thanks to Patreons. Oh, yes, yes, thank also you for the Patreon Patreons supporters. Here. Patrons, maybe Patrons. you could call them. I say things differently <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> if you would like to become a patron, you are more than welcome to do so. No pressure. But uh, while there, you get a slurry of uh, a cool, slurry, a slurry of <laughs> doing cool ground perks. it up and yep. feed it to them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Pour it down their gullets. You also get access to a Discord server while there. Pretty much all of our updates are filtered through our Discord, so you get early access to videos and a whole bunch of other goodies, goodies. as well. Uh, so thanks for coming out and hanging. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and if you're watching this later, thanks for sticking around. This has been a long one. Yeah. Oh my. But uh, You know the, the wonderful thing is uh, we get to do the Hocus Pocus uh, Halloween episode now <laughs> yes. because wow. we hit 1,000. That's we true. It. We did it. We did it. Uh, have a happy Halloween <laughs> coming up. Happy and safe Halloween. But until next time, I have been Troy to the Max Extreme. Dinosaur Neil. Imperial Strats Business Manager. And Ghost Hunter Dave. And we have been Imperious Rex. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Well, you know what, man? Sometimes you just gotta. You win some, you lose some. Exactly. You tie sometimes. Especially in soccer. You mean football? I right. think they call it football for our African American <laughs> audience. Yeah. Come on, Paul. Let's find out the ghost.